Right. Uh, da, 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 just one line. Hey, give me just a sec, night. I'll send you one. Let me copy that over. Uh, if I can find my freaking brain, man, it has been one of those days. Headphones cranked up yet. There you go, Knight. That should be hitting you. Uh, while we're doing that, I got to grab a beer. Yes, dude, I understand that. DJ, play nice. What is up? Shut down some other stuff. Krabby, what is up? That. Da, 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 da. All right, I have. I cranked this up. I've got to grab a beer. Let's add Night Strike up. What's up, Night? How's it going? If you insist, <laughs> you send it's me been, the link. You know, I'll show up through the back door. You know how that works. It's yeah. It's been a day. Let me grab a beer, man. It's been What's a been week. It's been a week. Well, not too much. Just, uh, you know, working on my own shit in the background. You know how it goes. Oh, yeah. With, uh, stuff I just got in the mail. Most of this is to work on some of my own stuff. I'm going to redo one of the AK. I'm going re well, to redo my AK pistol. Uh, mm -hmm. Redo the Cerakote on it. Change it up a little bit. I, I hate to be a Debbie Downer, but did you hear what happened to a budget guns and gear? Uh-uh. His wife died. Jared's? No, Mike. Mike Kreitzer. Oh, okay. Budget yeah. guns and gear? Yeah, I got you now. I was about to say, I got stuck on the guns and. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. So, what happened, man? Was she sick for a while well, and then just dropped she, out? She, or was she, it? For, for, what, for what he said in his video, she, she's been declining in health for a while and she wasn't feeling well so she went to the hospital on the way to the hospital her heart stopped oh, and God. they resuscitated her but it had been too long and you know once they resuscitated her she just gave out again man I hate hearing that yeah so uh, he's having real problems with that uh, he's got to go fund me to try and help him cover all the costs of burial and whatnot because he's not even sure insurance is going to cover her, her he's not even sure in life insurance the life insurance policy he had on her is going to be covered just because they'll use some he's afraid they're going to use some say well she's been sick forever so you know it's been the writing's been on the wall you should have been prepared oh dude that's so so he's got to go find me up but i just wanted to mention it and i've been i've been telling everybody and their brother because i've donated as much as i can so the only thing I can do is just let everybody know out there that you know he's not doing well, and if you could if you could shun him a couple dollars, doesn't have to if, Dude, it, you know between one and five dollars would help him out right now. Do you have his GoFundMe or whatever it is? Yeah, do you have yeah I've got it. Let me let me pull it up. Kick it, yeah, kick it up in the chat, bro. Because it's just it's just it's a shitty situation, you know. His daughter his daughter committed suicide. Right, Rabbit got point. it. Looks like you know it's. It's 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 fucking so, awful, man. I tell you what, let me pin that. Yeah, I got it. I got the link right here. Yeah, Krabby. Well, Krabby put it in. Ah, I've got the short link. Giggity. Well, I'm, I like short buses, so put it in there. Yeah, I'll put the short link in there too. Thank you, Krabby. Dude, I love the brothers, man. Oh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not a mod, so I don't know if it'll work. You're not a mod. I haven't made you a mod yet. No, you haven't. Oh God! You just right, right. Click on me and go make, make mod. I know how to do it. Are you sure? I just made it. You, you sure? I, I, I don't, I don't need to give a, you a, give you a play by play. I'm amazed. You, matter of fact, hell, I'm amazed. DJ wasn't a mod yet. I know, right? There. Now I fixed both of that. Ooh. 
Mr. Knives keeps showing up. He's going to end up with a mod, too. I'm just going to let you guys all find it out. There we go. There it is. There's the short link. Because I, I really do want you guys to be able to pin all the links and stuff like this. Uh, As, you know, and, and of course, pin your own channels. Everything whenever, like whenever there's something something like this that happens to anybody, you know, I do my best to try and help out best I can. And if I can't, yeah, man. I can't give a lot of money, but I can, you know, get the word out there to as many people that'll listen. Well, that, dude, that's like, um, like I've said before, man, uh, whether it was CRS and other stuff going on, even if you can't earn JSD, even if you can't donate right then, share the links. I did you give know, a get it out I there get, in front of somebody. I've given a couple of bucks it. what I can to, 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 to every, 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 everything that's happened. It's just, you know, I, I can't do everything. Yeah. And I feel bad I'm, that I can't do everything. I'm, I am in the same boat, bro. Um, I know exactly how you feel. Um, cause we do but, try to help everybody, man. We try to kick in as much support as we can. But I've, I've also asked Rich, Dark, uh, Crump, and, uh, and, uh, Joe to spread the word too, if they could. And those, and those guys will typically share it out too. Yeah. So as long as get, that's get, that gets out there, cause you know, Mike is a real good guy and this, this has hit him, hit him hard. And I don't know if you saw the video. He was literally tearing up in the video. No, and, I didn't see the video yet, man. And, you know, that's just... I, see, I don't know whether I follow him on a solid basis. Well, well it, 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 I've got I've got links. If you go to my YouTube channel and go to my community tab, I posted his video so you can see it directly there on my community tab. Dude, if it wouldn't be too much trouble, you mind posting it here? I can I can post it here too. Yeah, just let me load it up. Uh, fuck, I'm losing my goddamn mind. I'm losing my I'm losing my everything these days. You know, it's just like it seems like we keep, we keep getting deeper in the hole, and there's no way out. You got that right. So, yeah, I'll post it on the side there. See that works. Did that work? Uh, where'd you post it? Side chat. Uh, or did you no, post I, post it I post it on the YouTube side, but I can post the side chat. Okay, there. no, post it. Keep it in the YouTube side. That way, every, that way, everybody can see it. Everybody's got it now. Um, yeah, because I I want everybody to everybody to see it. So, you know, I and I I hate to bring up morbid stuff like this, but you know, my my heart yeah. goes out to everybody. I've been praying for him and his family because you know he's got kids and you know. You know, his son worked second shift and had to, had to call the ambulance to have him take it take her to the hospital because he had to go to work. It's just you know, and, stuff like that never happens at a good time, man. Right? It's always going to be so. It's just it's just awful. And there, I did did that thing, so I can I can skip a fifteen pack for a day. Oh. Kick that over. GT3, what's up, my brother? What's up, G23? So, so yeah, that's dude. Anytime something like that happens, man, it, especially in my chats, man, post those links and share it out because, yeah, you know, I always want to be able to do that for people. Um, at, 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 at the very least, just sharing the link to get us get the word out to yeah. as many people helps. Just get the word out, somebody. You never know, man. It could get in front of someone that none of us know. But they've got the ability to donate something pretty big, and they'll do it anonymously, mm -hmm. and they'll hit it and go because you know they're they're just that way. They want to help too. Uh, but yeah, definitely need to get it out of there. Hey, didn't understand that, G. Yeah. Okay, man. Mm -hmm. Want you? I'll uh, post the link, man, and you guys can go and come in if you want. We just we just goofing off and hanging out. In fact, let me copy that. There's my man Burnaby. What's up, brother? Burnaby's alive. Burnaby Johnny, is kicking like a chicken. Johnny Five's alive. Yeah. I don't know if you remember that movie. I'm pretty sure what's in this. We're gonna open up some packages. 
Uh oh. Watch out. Get get the fire extinguisher. Uh you might need it for this one. No, no, you might need it. Oh, I know what that is. That is a four wheeler battery that I needed. It's a box and a box. It's a four wheeler battery. Because the battery of my four wheeler took a shit. I don't know if you guys realize this, but you kind of need a battery on those things. Really? You haven't mentioned this. this. Is, please, please go on. This one, this one is a gel battery, too. And I only paid like 50 something bucks for it. So let's see how that gel battery does. I mean, I'm I'm cheap. I just go to Walmart and get a Walmart battery for the <laughs> for it to be done. Yeah, that's the reason I have to put a new one on there every couple months. Yeah, well, you know. You, you know what else helps? Having a jump pack. Well, actually running it all the time, which sometimes I just don't get the time to run it. Would probably help it more so the battery charges. Cerakote. So let's see. We got three bottles of Cerakote. Hell, I'm going to turn my other da -da -da. So let's see. We got... Oh, that's the OD Green... Oh, man, I can't read. My eyes are going to shit. Oh, Patriot Brown. I've got armor black and a couple other colors already. And this was the Highland Green. So I'm going to do kind of a, a woodland camo on that AK pistol. That is, that is the plan. Mr. Knives, what's up, my brother? Or did I say hi to Mr. Nines already? Hell, I can't I think you said hi, to, hi to him already. He's getting too many what's up. Hey, we all about what's up. No, I gotta so, give I, I gotta give nice shit because I do it all the time. I've got all the colors that I want to redo that thing. What was this? Oh. <laughs> Anybody need uh some mineral, mineral spirits? spirits? Yep. You planning on oh, that uh, wasn't shit. supposed to be mineral spirits? That was supposed to be just regular acetone. What do you think mineral spirits is? Oh, you got me. That's is acetone. Oh, well, anyway. So I got Min mineral spirits will do the job, trust me. Yeah, I figured it probably would. So, anyway. We got that because I've got to be able to decrease I mean, everything. And I'll, I'll be honest with you: acetone, paint thinner, and min mineral spirits are interchangeable. Well, we're gonna find out. They literally are. Trust me on this one. I know. Uh, this is the fire experience. Small, this is the small airbrush. This is pretty similar to the ones my wife uses at work all the damn time. But I figure as long as I keep it in good condition, I can get some use out of it. And it wasn't but like 12 bucks. So if it pisses me off and I throw it somewhere, I ain't hurting. You're going to throw it somewhere, knowing you. Yeah, probably so. You're going to chuck it against the wall and then you won't find a spring yeah. or something. Little siphon fed. It's like it's like trying to put together an AR-15. When you lose one detent in spring, you lose them all. Oh man, you know how many things I've launched, hit myself in the forehead with. You know how many things, how many of those things I've lost and I will never find. Dude, I have been lucky with a couple of them. Um, well, that's why the I do everything on my workbench, my workbench downstairs now. Because if I if I lose it, I have a 50 50 chance of finding it. Whereas if I do it anywhere else, I have a zero print ch chance of finding it. Oh man. I was sitting in my office the first time I put an AR receiver together and launched a detent. And the only thing that saved me is as soon as it launched, I got quiet and I heard it hit a box on the shelf. Burnaby, if you're gonna do an AR-15 conversion kit, uh you got you got you got two routes. Do you want to go the Glock mag route where it's easy to get mags, or do you want to go the Colt SMG route? Because and we got another big spray gun. Because there's really there's really two routes on that. Because 
One, you get a 9mm upper with the 9mm bolt carrier that can handle either Glock mags or Colt SMG mags. And what you do is you get the drop in, uh, you get the drop in, uh, uh, paint filters. Uh, the, the drop, the magwell, the magwell piece where you can either screw in or you just mount into your magwell of a normal AR 15. And it can either use Glock mags or you get the one that does, uh, Colt SMG mags. And then you can, it, then you literally have, you know, a poor man semi auto Colt SMG. Yeah. Mr. Nice, what is the deal with your stuff, man? Every time you try to connect, it never connects. Shows you, but says device is not connected. Shows you backstage. Nothing in front. So it's not just me being, you know, being a full player. There, hold on. There no, he is. he's all about there that, he is. that backdoor access. <laughs> What's up, nice? I can't even think Knives internet just does not like me. I, I don't know. I think his uh his his California California microphones are, are bad or something. Is that what it is? You know those things cause cancer in California, right? <laughs> He's aware. Oh man. I had to order a part for a lathe what two, three years ago. And couldn't I, the part had all the California cancer warnings on it. And uh couldn't be sent to California. Yeah. Hey, well, what do you do if this part messes up on your lathe? You just you had to have one custom machined. I mean, I don't know. I guess you could do it. Well, I mean, it could be done. It's going to be expensive. And the part itself was already ninety something bucks for that, or was ninety something or hundred something bucks for that little ass lathe. If you had to have one completely milled. Dude, that'd be like a $400 part because it'd be a one-off. And I guess it's the mix of materials they make that little shitty-ass part out of. Hold on. Why is this? Oh, she got it. I wonder if I can... Do this real fast and steal the whole screen. Let me make myself and I'll try to show this. So uh you can't see where the shit. There you can kind of see it. That's the hydro dip she just got done with. And apparently it is good. her liking because she's sending it out. Oh, oh, she's actually happy with it. Yeah, she's actually happy with it. It's this weird kind of uh, it's, it's lime it's, green, white lime green hunter paint. paint. Yeah, I mean, it looks in the picture. It looks really good. It, really it looks does. fantastic. It's not exactly my paint scheme, but the the work itself looks good. Yeah. Well, if she's happy with it, it's good. Because if there's one little imperfection over it, mm -hmm. she will. Freaking drive her. It's like I can sometimes. She'll drive herself nuts over. It's the it's the artist in her because she is a good artist. I thought you said it was the artist right. in her. Well, that's probably part of it too. Okay, all right. Do, 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 do. Now we're back. All right, good. Yeah. DJ, if you want to come in and hang out, man, the links up there, which anybody's welcome. We're just hanging out. There's no. We got past the serious topic. You guys look up in the chat. You can see the GoFundMes and stuff. Um, go take care of a brother and help him out if you can. Matter of fact, it should still be pinned at the top. Yeah, his GoFundMe is still pinned at the top. So um, if you guys can kick a brother a little bit, a little bit of change, do it. If not, just share the link um, like we were saying earlier. Um and maybe we can maybe we can help them out a little bit more better. So some serious stuff on the side, but nothing else serious right now. There was there was what there was a set of oral arguments today out of the Fifth Circuit um, that John Crump actually covered. I didn't realize they were happening today. 
yeah. over the 18 to 20 year olds uh, being able to purchase firearms. That was an interesting oral argument. Um, I met, I listened to it on John's channel, was shooting shit with everybody. I got there a little late, but uh, just because work's been kind of crazy in a couple of cases. But so hopefully, and the Fifth Circuit should side with the plaintiffs and say that no, you can't stop 18 to 20 year olds from buying firearms. Of course, that's only from FFL. So they can go buy one person to person. And that's kind of what, kind of one of the arguments that the state was making. Well, they can go buy them person to person. What does it matter? Well, if they can go buy them person to person, and this is about stopping bad people from getting guns, then why are we worried about them getting them from an FFL? I mean, it's... So that was that was kind of cool. Who knows? I might still pop up a show one day and listen to those and let everybody hear what was going on. Some of the guys were in the chat and in and out of the chat when I was in there earlier today. That was uh, I think that started at nine this morning. And I was I was running behind. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, G. It always sucks when you got to have an animal put down, man. It always sucks. It never fails. Yeah. I had to put my cat down because he had, uh, he had uh, what do you call it, uh, liver failure. Yeah. That stuff's always rough, man. Uh, no, it wasn't liver. It was kidney. That's what it was. Yeah, it's it's always it always sucks losing an animal you're attached to. And, it really does. And even when I picked him up when he was when he was feeling really bad, he didn't say anything. He didn't do anything. He didn't let me know. He just you know, just held it in. But when he, when we took him to the doctor, he got real hungry with the doctor touching him there. And I guess oh, yeah, that some, that just means that that's how much he liked me. Some animals are like that, man. They really are. They're gonna hang in there and they're gonna try to tough it out as much as they can. Yeah, um, it's I've seen animals do it before. Uh, you know, they're 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 more there for you than they are for anything else. Yeah, um, when you've got that bond with them, so it's it's really hard for them to let go. But when it gets to that point, it's way more humane to to let them go peacefully than just drag it out. Right. And I've I've seen some people let some let some animals drag out way longer than they should have. Um, because the, the animal that a couple dogs and a couple cats they were just they were I said the only reason they were even hanging around anymore is because they loved their owner so much and they were so attached to him. But they're you know they couldn't even get out and use the bathroom by themselves, and it was yeah, you could tell they were in a lot of pain. Because, hell, even when you gave them, even when they gave them stuff for pain, the animal was still just hurting like hell. Jesus, man, I come to hang out and you guys got all kinds of serious about stuff. Yeah, it's how it happens. Life, it life, is, life is throwing curveballs at everybody lately. Yeah, well, that's, a, that's one of the reasons I love chats like this, though. You don't start out with a topic. Just hang out. Hey, we're going to open up some mail, and and you get to talk about real I, stuff. G23 has to get back to work. Well, later, G23. G, take it easy, my brother. Hey, next time, if I'm on, man, anytime you can come on, come on. I ain't talked to you in a while. Nice. Do you need a microphone? Should I send you a microphone? Knives. Not twice if you're a hostage. <laughs> or just mumble over the ball gag. <laughs> blink I got the fat ninja turtle down there just to mock me. Blink, blink, blink three times if you need help. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I promise it's not like I've got him muted. <clears throat> no, no, he's he's for a long time now. He's been having microphone problems. That's why he it's won't go on Cal Discord and hang out with me and Sean anymore. It's that California stand, man. 
Cal, you know, it, it's probably California's probably trying to silence them. That's what it is. As Mike's probably caused cancer and global warming, and they're trying to shut that shit down. Yeah. <laughs> there was something today, and I know what it was, and someone thought it was serious. There was a group of researchers. Um, what are you doing? Get that out your mouth. What are you doing? <laughs> there was a group of researchers a couple years ago who wanted to really point out how bad the so-called peer review system is now for like research papers. Like, what's Crump doing live? DC police FFL program with yeah. problematic according to the ATF. Well, I have to watch that one later. Either that or hell, I'll share the link out if you guys wanted to check out Crump. Oh, he, he it's yeah. just a premiere. That's not a live. Yeah. If it was a live, I'd say let's go pop over there, but you know, it's not. Yeah, I'll open it up. I'll share the link out. That way everybody can get back to it at least. Yep. Because Crump's, he's normally on top of this shit. So this is the link for what Crump's doing right now. Hell, throw it up in the background. Um, hell, who knows? I might. Gotta, gotta support the brothers. Right. Uh, Crump, and, Crump and a lot of the guys are guys that you really, really want to support, man. They're doing some great work, some great reporting. I wish I was as plugged in as Crump, but I don't know whether I want those fucking headaches. <laughs> mm. I honestly don't. I, I thought about actually trying to get serious if, and writing some articles. And if I, I had it. those kind of headaches, I'd be wanting to do 1776 again. Brother, I already want to do it. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I'm I'm, I'm, I'm holding just, myself back. I'm you know, yeah, trying to I'm trying to be good. I'm just you know, I want to make sure there's a bunch more people other than me that are serious about this shit, you know. I'm not really a joiner, so let's get it serious, and then I'll I'll sign on. Right. I'm not going to be out there being the lone wolf. Um, but I'm trying to find a book that I can send to Rich. I uh, it, it's Later. been out of it's been out of it's been out of production for a while. You know what it is? Huh? It's how not to crash a plane. Oh well, yeah, he probably needs that one. Yeah, he, needs how, he needs how to land a plane. He has crashing a plane down <laughs> pat. No, no, see, it's how not to crash a plane. Well, not crashing a plane, just keep it in the air. Rich's problem is putting it on the ground in one piece. Well, well then maybe I should give him a Cessna manual or something. <laughs> Let's, get, let's all chip in and get him a good flight simulator. Yeah, right. Oh man, I love Rich. I love Rich. I love breaking his balls too, but I love Rich. Yeah, I, I only do this out of good fun. I'm not being. I'm not trying to be overly mean to to Rich. I love Rich. He's he's a great guy. Yeah, dude. That's and that's all of us, man. We love joking with one another, and God knows we're gonna make some jokes. But I mean. You know, he he he, John and Dart go after me for not being you know bougie and having and having an X one when you know I've got a K one and it works just fine. You know, it works better than an than an Ender three. I see that Ender three in the background, Coop. Yeah, I gotta I gotta run my baby. I gotta I gotta some stuff I want to print. God knows, hell, I still gotta finish up this freaking FGC that I've never finished up. Yeah. And this thing is carbon fiber reinforced. Carbon fiber nanotubes. It is a I mean it's it's solid. This was done on another guy's printer, but it's carbon fiber reinforced. This wasn't done on the Ender. <laughs> now yeah, you have on, to replace you have you have to replace the hot end to do it on the Ender. Yeah, well that I mean that's that's done with um I mean, my 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 current printers can do can do carbon fiber. Yeah, that, well, this is a this is a maker. This was, I think, a MakerBot printer the dude had. Um, so it's and it's running MakerBot's filament, but it's also carbon fiber reinforcing as it goes. 
So it's mm -hmm. not just running a straight carbon fiber. It's actually reinforcing as it goes. Now, this was done on another printer, and this one's kind of rough, but this is the buffer tube assembly for it. Um, Brutal Bob, what's up, my brother? How's it going? And as I said, anybody who wants to join in, this is just a hangout. There's a link in the in the chat to join. Um, I didn't pin it because there's a GoFundMe pin for um, one of the brothers whose his wife just passed. Um, so I'm going to keep that pinned at the top. But anybody who does want to join, the link's floating in the chat. We just we just hanging out and shooting the breeze. Unlike most of my streams where we have some serious damn topic. Um, in funny yeah, yeah. news, Eric Adams was talking about how much crime is down in New York City today. Well, good for him. Yeah. It's funny if you don't arrest people and don't charge them how crime goes down. Right? <laughs> if you just erase the crime, it's like it never happened. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a stir. I was listening to that on the way home after I was still doing stuff for work, trying to pick up kids and coordinating stuff. And yeah, he had this big 50 minute news conference, almost an hour. Hi. Say hi to everybody. Say what up, perps. Hi. Say Mr. Knight. Hey, come here. <laughs> yeah, well, never mind. I, I, I don't get the time of day. I get it. The, the, the only time someone at your house wants to talk to me is if I send a picture of my wood. This is true. I can't even argue with that. If we weren't on YouTube, I'd bring out some wood and, and show some other wood off. But well, so would I. But that's that's besides the point. You know, it's that damn oh. OnlyFans page. Well, no, we, I think we need to start doing more things on Rumble where we can actually do stuff and, and stuff yeah, off. and that's I've I've played around and I think I'm going to start doing it on some of my streams where I start off on YouTube and then cut YouTube off and then move strictly to Rumble. Um, what, what? What what you could do is you could use Rumble Studio and you can live stream to Rumble and YouTube at the same time. Well, and I don't I'm know if you can. Now. I don't know if you can click off, but you can use Rumble Studio instead of Streamyard. Well, I could. I'll have to play with Rumble Studio, but like right now, it's super I'm easy. To, it's super easy. I'm streaming to X, Rumble, and YouTube all at the same time, and if I want to kill one of the channels, I just click on it and kill it. Right. Um. So you know. It's, Steven Crowder, I think, was one of the original ones who started that. Um, and then Rakeda Law, Viva Fry, a um, bunch of other guys are doing that. Where they're and they which they're big enough, they got like contracts with Rumble to do exclusive content, but they'll start off on YouTube, everybody jumps in, has a good time, and then they go shut off YouTube and go strictly to Rumble. And I might I'm I'm playing around with with doing that and then i could bring out some stuff that i'm working on and show everybody hey this is the ak i'm working on and i'm going to do this to it and that to it and 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 start showing some more stuff off um yeah so i'm playing around with that and i need to do it i know um because let's let's face it screw tube is not the most gun friendly platform on the planet these days that's an understatement yeah which in a lot of in a lot of ways they were cool with a lot of it until certain politicians started writing letters to them, I, and I, then they just they decided, well, you know, maybe we need to start limiting some of this kind. I of think it was that YouTuber that uh, had uh, that had monetization issues that went into the headquarters with God. Mm, that probably didn't help matters none. No, and she did it live. Just, just saying that, that she did it live on YouTube too, which, which you know, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that that didn't help. <laughs> that didn't help. We've, no. we've got, and I'd have to look some of them up and find them. It, it came into it came into play in some of CRS stuff, which they're still doing it. Um, where you had so many Democrat, let's get it fucking straight here. So many Democrat politicians writing YouTube. Going, these people, and it happened to Marine. That was part of Marine Gun Builder stuff. Is these politicians were writing YouTube, going, Hey, this guy's showing how to manufacture these firearms on YouTube, and this is so evil. Blah, 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 blah. And then you started seeing YouTube just start chopping the legs off of anybody doing gun content. One car, what's up, my brother? 
Fluffy Bunny, Bunny, what is Fluffy happening? So, uh, again, I'll say it again, new people coming in. The chat is open, guys. There's a link up in the chat. Um, the only link I have pinned, though, is for GoFundMe for one of the brothers whose wife just passed. Um, not completely unexpected from what it sounds like, but pretty quick. Um, Z, what's up, my brother? So if you guys can can donate to his GoFundMe, oh, Z's Night out there. Strike, yeah, yeah, Night Strike brought it or brought it in. So if you guys can donate to it, donate to it. If you can't, just share it out. Um, if you got a community tab, post it on the community tab. You guys know how to do it, man. Just share it out far and wide. Put the signal out. Um, and hopefully, hopefully we can help him out. Um, yeah, I know all of you guys, if we had the money, dude, wouldn't have a single issue, but all right, let's face it. None of us are damn rich Please. floating on, you know, Scrooge McDuck money. So I well, wish I, I had Scrooge McDuck. Money. If I had Scrooge McDuck money, I would definitely be swimming in it. That would be some serious fuck you money. Would it not? Just it open up my bank vault and go swim through all my gold coins. Yeah. Then the IRS would find out and they'd take half your shit. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have Ocasio-Cortez and Elizabeth Warren up there talking about these rich people. While they're no, I, I, I make sure dollars. they can't take it. You know why? It'd be in a foreign currency. At least in a foreign bank. Yeah. Well, that's how our politicians do it. That and all the insider trading. Yeah. I mean, if you're gonna re if you're gonna regulate an industry and you can either screw that industry over or make that industry a lot more successful and you vote on it to give them money or take money away from them, seems like a pretty big edge in the whole investing market. Uh, it was Warsaw City. Uh oh. That's a. Uh... Oh, this is a. Hold on. This might have to go to my email. This is going to have to go to Discord. <laughs> Warsaw, you crazy bastard. Yep, that's got to go to my email. We got to show that on stream. <clears throat> uh. <laughs> <laughs> Fluffy Bunny says, I am. And call me Scrooge McFluff. No, wait. So apparently Fluffy Bunny is Scrooge McFluff. Well, I mean, I'm screwed and fluffed, so. Uh. If I get this, if I can get my damn do, do, do. Oh, hell, I'll send it to you, too, since your name popped up when I put my name in. Oh, let me get to the email side of this adventure. Why is it not popped up yet? All right. Let's uh, stop that. We're going to do a screen share real fast because this is funny as shit. And I only saw about the first second of it. All right. Let me make sure this is going through. All right. It's going through. They can't stop the signal. I didn't see it. You do it again. Oh, we got to do it again. It's Biden tripping up the stairs. <laughs> With Easter Bunny. Yeah. That's great. Oh, one more time just for it. Yeah, I saw that. 
good. That's good. That is hysterical. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, I got all that. That is funny as shit. Thanks for sending that to me, War. Oh, oh, I, I'm going to show that. We, we got to show this. Yeah, I'm gonna show it. Screen share real quick. Show it. Show it. Nah, hold on. Hold on. Mr. Knives found the problem. Ooh. Cable's yeah, bad on his, uh, on his headset. That's why we uh, weren't hearing him. That's going to take a little uh, either rewiring or a new plug. Honestly, with some of these, it's not worth rewiring. You're better off just buying a new headset. I'll be honest with you. Because I've tried, yeah. to re I tried to rewire them. Sometimes it works. But sometimes they use like ultra shielded cables and it doesn't work. Yeah, I can see that. So Joe Morris, what's up? Joe, there's a link in the chat, brother. If you want to come in, come in. So it is uh somewhere up there. I'll say that. Is it a is it a, a removable plug uh knife that you can just buy? Oh, shit, let me post it again. He said new plug. Yeah, he says new plug, so that means that might be a removable plug. It looks like it is. It looked like it was from the picture. It looked like you could yeah. unplug it and just plug another one in. So. Well, the knives, just get a new plug, dude. Just order one. Amazon. Yeah, just be careful when you search for a plug on which kind you get, though. I'm just, just saying. Yeah, yeah, we all know you, you, you butt Bad pirate. Bad things have happened. Yeah, yeah, you butt pirate. Look, I was talking about ordering a fire hydrant. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm sure. Because they call them fire plugs. Mm-hmm. Careful what shows up on your credit card statement, kids. <laughs> <laughs> and your wife is just going to be like, what have you been putting on the credit card? <laughs> My wife already knows. I have never ordered anything that was out of the ordinary and not told my wife, hey, this will be coming in. <laughs> Joe said he just got off work. Good deal. Tactical skill, you know. Hey, you welcome in too, brother man. Uh, link is in the chat. We're just shooting the shit, man. This is just, this is just a hangout, shoot the shit. Um, and I'll hang out. Hell, I'll hang out till the wife gets home. She'll call me the night she normally does, probably about 6.05 or something to talk about what we're having for dinner, and we're just hanging. And it's showing me T-Rex. Uh, dude, I, <laughs> I don't know whether I can kick that over. I'll, I pr I'll try. Um, oh, damn it. Fluffy Bunny, it's like Dan Flate. Yes, Dan Flate. We need it. We <laughs> Warsaw, we seriously needed man against the masses in that stream because he's better at Photoshop. And he could have photoshopped a T-Rex head on that little fat motherfucker. Um yeah. From the ghost gun crap the other day, which is hysterical. Yeah. A little dude, I these little fucking T Rex arms. He's over there talking and waving. And we got it. Dude, Barney, sit down, shut the fuck up, please. You don't even know what you're talking about. Diversity hire. There's my buddy. What's up, Joe? What's up, buddy? Hey, ain't nothing but another day, man. How was work? Oh, it was cheese today, man. Let me let me mute the uh, mute the PC real quick. So the echo. No, we love the echo. Keep it on. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry about that, I, dude. I don't have a freaking dude, dude, Joe. You're good, man. Dude, 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 we love hearing ourselves talk. It's great. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, yeah, we wouldn't be on YouTube. I'm hearing my own voice. I'm, I, 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 can't, I can't stand hearing my own voice. I'm, I'm sure you can get the sarcasm that I'm joking. 
I get you. I get you. Now I need to get a uh, just a cheap webcam. <clears throat> it would solve a lot of my problems, but it's just priority. Well, if you need some recommendations, I can send you some Amazon links. Oh no, I mean I've got I've got access to like free retired hardware at work. You know, I could actually use it for my home uh, home office too. The, the, the next time you're at work and they've got you know an old webcam lying around that's USB, just yoink that. Yeah, that's one. I found uh, I found one when I was cleaning out some stuff the other day, and I was going to ask my boss, but now it's hard to even catch him at the office. He'll want to take a look at it before he says, "Yeah, take it." You know what I mean? Right. Yeah, they rarely come in anymore. Heck, I I only go in once a week now. It is kind of nice though if they know that my setup doesn't have a webcam. I never have to go live when I'm at my house. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> I can go live, but they don't have to see my face. Yeah. Well, I only I only turn my camera on when I have my clothes on. Well, yeah, but I mean, there's you know there I, there were some guys that were kind of shagging out on meetings and stuff and just like opening it and stuff. So now they're making everybody they want to see FaceTime. They want to see your head in the in the panel. Oh, 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 I know. I'm, I'm just saying, when I do YouTube, if I got my shirt off and I'm drinking a beer, I'm not going to subject you guys to that horror. Oh, um, I'll, I'll nice totally do it. That I just totally sounded do. really, really creepy. Yeah, yeah. I'm not no, so polite. No. I do it all the time. I'll, I'll, especially look, the summer time when I thought. One car, if you're going to buy plugs, get the metal ones. They last longer. <laughs> just that's, saying. That's what she said. Yeah. I saw what that guy was trying to fix with that that tension on his on his was that headphones or something. Yeah. Oh, you're talking about knives. Yeah, yeah that, plug that, that thing he was trying to fix there. Yeah, I know what he was talking about too. With shielded cables, trying to get them like splice and stuff. That's that's rough. Yeah. Oh yeah. That is rough. yeah it Usually is. micro small too. And yeah, you can it's get like them. That, it might work. It, it's gonna have some. Yeah, it's gonna have some freaking shitty static or something on it. Yeah, when you when you get into a little uh, some of the micro plugs and stuff like that, it is hard to fix those things. I've done it in the past, um, but it is a pain in the ass. It really is. Yeah, I, I can't see that that small anymore, even with my glasses. It's pretty rough. I know it's hard for me to see my Peter half the time these days. Oh, uh, it's a tragedy. I know. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna have to get bifocals. That way, I can look in one place and be like, uh, "I'm gonna get like magnified bifocals, so I can finally see that I got a big one." Um, oh yeah, no oh, yeah, that's <laughs> that's. But now, I got bifocals. <laughs> it's been one work. of those days. Yeah, it's been pretty easy. <laughs> I am, I, I, mass storms here the last two days, uh, like oh, Nicholas dude. County and uh, uh, what was the other Fayette County, I think got hit really hard like uh, a tornado or a hurricane went through uh Summersville where my boss's boss lived and he he had to drive up like somewhere high ground to get cell service it knocked out power it knocked out cell sites it knocked out freaking uh, internet everywhere there was nowhere he was just like tell everybody I'm alive my house is fine everybody I know is fine but nobody's gonna be able to get a hold of me for like the rest of the day till I call back in Dude, I'm surprised we didn't lose power or anything last night because it was I fell I fell asleep early last last night. Hell, I yeah. fell asleep before my wife got home. Don't don't talk kids. about don't talk to me about hurricanes. I know about them all the damn time. Yeah, well, this was there was a I looked at it, it's like one o'clock this morning. Cause I woke up, I fell asleep early, woke up about 12, and uh was messing around. I caught some of dark stuff. Um, but I wasn't chatting, and then I caught some of it this morning. <laughs> but uh, the map for like this hurt or tornado bubble went from like Ohio all the way down through us. And we were like in the worst part of the damn map. Um, yeah. And it was, like I said, two, two o'clock this morning, man. It was storming mm. its ass off down here. Yeah. It's been, our guys have been working. Uh, they haven't done their regular job for the last two days. Some of them went back to it today, but they were out patrolling, doing trouble tickets all day. Hey, look, one car, that's a little too long for me. You got to cut it in half. It's at least got to be an M16 pistol. You mean, oh, like you a you mean an M4? Gerbil. Yeah, like a stud gerbil, baby. That's what I'm saying. 
What is that? Was your nickname in high school, wasn't it? No, no, my name in high school was probably Hobbit. I can't remember. Hobbit, short, fat. I didn't have the beard back then, though. I did. Oh, no, yeah. It took me a long time to be able to grow facial hair. My brother can grow a beard overnight. I had the beard when I was in high school. I could have. I could have grown a beard. Out, I was I was always clean shaven until I was in my early twenties. I had a Mexican mustache before I actually let stuff grow out. Yeah, my shit doesn't grow like that. My buddies did. They could buy beer when we were younger because they looked older. Hell, my one buddy was freaking bald by the time he was nineteen. Poor fucker. Uh, dude, I was talking about that one of the shows the other night. Um, I was working for that nuisance wildlife company. I was 21 and I had to go to a meet in Marietta, Georgia. And I just got my hair cut and my hair is like, so it's been going gray since I was 17, but I showed up at the meeting and you could see even more gray in my hair. And a buddy of mine said, you go gray as fuck. I said, well, at least I got hair motherfucker. Cause he was already going bald at like 26. <laughs> oh, <laughs> at least yeah. I got hair. Yeah. My other buddy had like a white beard or white goatee, freaking and gray hair, like spots of it was was pretty pretty prominent in high school. Silver gray. Yeah. Oh, I had streaks in it when I was high school age, 16, 17. You could see streaks of gray through mine. I don't mind going gray, but man, I got a big ass fat lumpy head to go bald. So hopefully if this shit stays, I'll be all right. Yeah, my head's got a few nicks in it, but all in all, it's not too bad, badly shaped for having to I, having to wear this hairstyle. It's the one God I wish gave I could me. Find, yeah, I wish I could find my original ID that I got when I went to prison. Then you guys could see how lumpy my fucking head actually is. Oh, yeah. Because they shave the shit out of you. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, heck, I had, I had hair to like, you know, down my back until my early 30s. And it just started yeah, coming I mean, out, I, and I was like, "That's bad. I can't can't be doing that." I didn't want to be the guy with a with you know <clears throat> long sides and a thin top. That wasn't going to work out. Oh man, you didn't you didn't want to go for the whole you know long long like, way yeah, around like, and have the have the sun deck. No, no, man, no. And I and, and after I quit, after I got my hair cut, I don't, I don't have to wear a freaking ball cap anymore to keep the hair out of my face. I hate wearing ball caps now. Bruno Bob, when were you in Vietnam? My dad was over there in 68. Um, was it 67 to 68? Somewhere around there. He spent a year over there. He was in the uh, 173rd, baby. He was in the herd um, working in artillery. My dad missed the draft by a year. My dad actually got drafted. By one year. My dad was uh, 70 to 73. Good deal, Bob. What were you doing? What were you doing over there? Were you what branch and all that, man? And uh, thank you, dude, for being there. Yes, thank you, dude. Yeah. Thanks, Bob. How my uncle Bobby, my mom's my mom's brother, um, he was a Marine. He served three tours over there, starting out in like '65, I think, or maybe maybe an earlier than '65. Wounded every single time. Pronounced dead once. Oh. Wow. Um, and then he came yeah, he back was, from the dead. Dude, he, well, he said, I talked to a guy one time, uh, my uncle, he mowed one of the cemeteries out in Arkansas, um, where a lot of our families buried, um, cause he had yard business and stuff. And this was hell. I was maybe 18 or so at the time. Um, and there's this other dude come down to the cemetery and they started talking and come to find out they were both Marines in the same unit. They got caught in an ambush on a, river bank one day and they were about the only two dudes that survived uh, my uncle spent a couple days with his hole or his fist in a hole in the side of his abdomen trying to keep everything in before oh. the mud marines or the brown water navy come in there and got him um and then one of the times the time he got pronounced dead i think is the time he took a rocket um he said the, they had him on the, I guess on the ship at the time. I can't remember the whole story exactly. But uh, he woke up <laughs> where they had all the bodies sitting. 
And he said there was a corpsman there that was, you know, checking on stuff. And he asked that joker where his Kool-Aid was at because they put Kool-Aid packets on the on the dead Marines. You know, be cool. It was that kind of final send-off. He said that dude turned white as a ghost and went to hauling ass. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was bad enough, man. They actually got the um, – the Navy actually sent people to my um, grandparents' home to tell them that Bobby was dead before they figured out he was still alive. So who told so them? They, they who got, told them he was still alive. I can't remember how they got the news that he was still alive. I can't remember that part of the story. It's been forever. did he just come back and say, "Yo, um, fam, I'm back." Did it? Did they come out to the house and letter. tell you in person? Yeah, they came out. I, well. I think it was just a telegram at the time. Um, yeah, and that may have been in like we made a mistake. Or so. We made a mistake. He he survived. You're 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 good. Yeah, congratulations. But it was hearing Bobby tell the story because my my uncle Bobby he was six foot and some change and always a big dude. I mean, always just huge. Um, and it, hearing him tell the story is just hysterical. That that man used to get me in so much shit every time I'd go home. We'd go home to visit them. It was he wrote me in one time. Now I am scared. I don't like heights. Even when I deer hunt a climbing stand, I only hunt about twenty foot in the air. And Bobby was working for a truck stop right outside of Wheatley, Arkansas, and said, "Hey, Coot," or he didn't call me Coot. He called me my my middle name, David. And he said, "Look, man, we got to go hang these signs up." Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking, okay, we're just going to walk over there and we're going to hang these signs up. No, that big motherfucker had me about 40 foot in the air on these damn highway signs, stringing out banners. <laughs> That's yep. one of the, one of the signs he had me on. It's basically double oh. telephone poles. Okay. Like Brutal Bob. Foot in the air. Brutal Bob. Like Anthony, <clears throat> he said he was Marines. He was scout sniper. With the boys Hell from Langley. Yes, Bob. He served in MACV SOG and the Phoenix program. So oh three and a half God, tours. Bob. And then they had to send send me home due to the price on my head. Oh man, that is Dude, that is insane. Um those are some stories. I bet you got some damn well, stories. Okay. Brutal um, Bob, Brutal Bob, this is this is the only question I'm gonna ask you. Answer it truthfully. Okay, M14 or M16? Uh, my question would have been is what size wheelbarrow does he walk around with his balls in every day? Boom, uh, Dark, those things or crap. does he just have a hover round for him at this point? No, no, he, he, he's, he's got that four wheeled cart, yeah, because you, sir, have a set that clank when you walk. Because if you get into the song and yeah, which <laughs> my, my again, it makes me think of my uncle Bobby. He got, I can't remember how much trouble he got in one time. They were, and he was telling me the story. And again, I can't remember the whole story. It's been decades ago. Yeah. Um, they were over in Cambodia where they shouldn't have been. And apparently he was bored and there's a lot of buzzards. So he started to rack a couple of buzzards, making noise where they shouldn't have been and in really bad places. <laughs> but that was my uncle. Um, I miss that dude so much. It ain't even funny. <clears throat> he was he was always the crazy uncle. Uh oh, Agorizer's there. Agorizer, what's up, my brother? He says sliding in like Sorry. a perp. Hey, you got to slide it in every once in a while, brother, man. It's true. It's true. With or without lube, depending on the day. Ooh, hmm. ooh, 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 that's rough. Sometimes really you just got to hit it and get it. Gabriel, what's up, my brother? Damn Gabriel's out there. Freaking, yeah, Mac V. Sog and stuff like that, man. Those are the OG special forces. Yeah, <clears throat> he says I had no experience with the M14. I test fired the M16 at Hydromatic uh, in Michigan. 
before enlisting. So I'm 16. All right. All right. All right. That, I kinda that, that, that was more of a question for you. Which do you prefer more? But if you're going to say the M16, all right. Well, here, here's this. So Brutal Bob having that experience, especially early experience with the M16, 20-inch barrel. I can't remember what grain pill they were shooting at the time. 15, Excuse me. Five. Have you ever seen a single round from an M16 cut a body in half? Because there's a gun expert for the anti-gun groups right now that said a single round from an M16 would cut someone in half. Phil, dude, you're welcome in too, man. Uh, that's physically impossible. Yeah. Yes, it is. But this dude said and they got it from, um, I read a lot of their so-called supporting documents and there there was a a document from early on in vietnam where they introduced the m16 and they went on talking about the size of the m16 and the arvin soldiers the south vietnamese soldiers um, of smaller stature can handle an m16 very well yeah and what they were trying to do is is they were trying to basically get the army to go with the m16 so there was one of these colonels or whoever, I have to find the document again, who said, yeah, there was a firefight in one round, just tore this body in half. And then it was, it's ridiculous to read. If that you seems know more like about anecdotal <clears throat> exaggeration. It's just, uh, that's not really. Yeah. Exciting. Oh, shit. Armed attorneys. Lie. Jesus, my uh, phone's going off like uh -oh. I'm selling crack, or my cute computer's going off like I'm selling crack right now. Well, you know, maybe you should, you know, lay, lay I got to turn these notifications off because they drive me crazy you know, uh, on this computer. Remember what your plumber told you. Don't do crack. That's my job. Uh, well, most of the plumbers I saw had crack. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Here, I'm going to throw this in the chat because I love the armed attorneys. So, blah, 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 blah. There's the armed attorneys. And what are they doing today? FBI at your door, what do you do? So that ought to be a good one. I'll go back and watch that one later. Yeah. Hey, speaking of at your door, man, oh, what, the, oh, what is it? What, what's the current What's the current issue with the freaking uh, AR pistol braces? Are they, are they mm -hmm. you know, haram? Are they halal? What are they now? Well, right now, any in this, you've got it in a couple of circuits, from what I understand. So don't quote me directly on it. No, 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 don't rely it, on anything. Your understanding. It is. went. It, it went to one circuit, and the NRA, God bless them all. Um, yeah, they were involved in it. So it was basically came down to I think any NRA member. They was involved in the suit. Their pistol braces are fine. Everybody else is kind of on the line. Um, because it's it wasn't, I can't remember how they stated it as applied or whatever it is. Basically, right now, I've got pistol braces. I ain't doing shit with them. They are yeah. legal as I built them, and the ATF can blow me. Um, Sorry, yeah. it's just the way it is. I, I went ahead and neutered the one that I carry in my truck just because if I'd ever have to use it, you know, be with us. I'd, I'd hate to catch a felony for defending myself. <laughs> but <laughs> I sure as hell would like to put it back on if I knew it was okay. I just have to wait it out a bit longer, I guess. Uh, man, yeah, it's, it's, I would call it up in the air right now because some of these, some of these police officers don't know the difference. In between a braced pistol and a short belt rifle, anyway. I guess it, you might get hung up anyway for so, the time being. Yeah, yeah, you can get hung up either way. But yeah. for me, well, I, was, I, was, I can all kiss my ass. Yeah, I was thinking about switching maybe to a shotgun too for the truck. I just gotta <laughs> see which one works yeah, good there. Fluffy, yeah. Thank God the NRA come through. Yeah, for for once. Um, now they, I will get, I will say this: the NRA has funded some lawsuits, and that's this is one of the ones that they helped fund. Are the NRA still now, around? Yes. Now I will also say this: if the NRA didn't spend decades paying for Wayne Lapierre's suits, and they actually spent that and, money on and multiple trips to Europe, yeah, 
and and Africa to go hunt elephants and all the other shit. If they actually spent that money on lawsuits, we'd probably be in a way better position right now. Yeah, we we, we get, he would have got they would have gotten the the get rid of the Hughes amendment when they took all those dues and said they told Reagan they'd get rid of the Hughes amendment and never did. Yeah, because the Hughes amendment is nothing but horse shit. Well, the whole NFA is horse shit in the first place, but the Hughes amendment is even more horse shit on top of horse shit, which makes it double horse shit. As I said, I'd be willing to take a compromise on this one and just get rid of the Hughes Amendment so we get new machine guns on the registry. That way it's open again. That would that would be a step. Yeah, that would be a step in the right direction. It you know, really would. I, yeah, uh, I, I, I want to get, the, I get, I wanna get rid of the, the NFA and the NFA and, and whatnot. Uh, I hate to say it, but the GCA is kind of useful for, for one thing. Just one thing. Okay? What's that? Serial numbers on the guns so that you can actually prove to the manufacturer that you actually bought the gun from them. Yeah, but that's a manufacturer issue. And that shouldn't be a, yeah. a government issue. Right, but the government, they, they required like it. But everything, but let me let me let me put it this way. Everything else these days has a serial number. Like your headset has a serial number. Your car has a serial number. Well, Everything man, is manu manufactured. Manufacturers themselves had been doing serial, not necessarily serial numbers, but part numbers for a very long time. Right. I mean, it didn't have it didn't have to have the place of manufacture, the serial number, the da 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 da, -da all stamped on the side of the gun. But they had information to where if they you bought a gun from them and there was a malfunction, you could. You know, send him the number and be like, "Hey, dude, this is messed up." That that should be a me and the manufacturer deal, not a government mandated. It has to have a serial number. No, because serial numbers don't do shit. They never have. You're gonna track it back to the first purchaser. Oh, whoopee! The gun has been out there. The time to crime on a lot of these guns is like thirty years. It's changed hands like five times at least. Whoopee! You you found the original purchaser. Um. Okay, there there has not been a single violent crime that I am aware of that's been solved by a serial number. Ballistics, on the other hand, is different because yeah. ballistics they can match you know the the specific tool marks of the gun to a casing or to a projectile. Uh, it's, it's, it really is like a fingerprint because, let's face it, you can have 57 guns manufactured in the same shop, and at least 48 of those guns are going to have little characteristics that will make different impressions in different places, and that's traceable. But none of them have stopped a crime. The most you can do with a serial number is if you find something with a gun if that gun and that serial number were reported stolen, the most you can do with that is go, oh, this serial number was reported stolen. So you have a you have a stolen gun. In a lot of cases, that's not a violent crime. Someone broke into a house, stole a gun, broke into a car, stole a gun, something like that. And they don't get charged with a felony for it in the first fucking place. They in Colorado. Like in the well, when they start doing that, like you could still get like like you know twenty twos at uh, like the auto parts store, they didn't have serial numbers on like those you know the Sears brand would branded ones and shit like that. Right, well, they'll, they'll have yeah they'll they'll have yeah. manufacturer part numbers and stuff like that. Yeah, part um, numbers, but not serial numbers. No, because you can still you know, manufacturers, it. your your general manufacturers. I mean, they got to be able to track parts, so there were part numbers on things. Well, um, too, in and part, cases, part lots and then group like groups, and you know, sometimes yeah. even in series, how there'll be you know groups of parts that might change depending on the serial number series if it's you know improved yeah. or whatever. I get because, that because oh, manu get manufacturers that. track that stuff. Yeah. Now, do I think it should be this government mandated number? Oh hell no! The government shouldn't be anywhere near. And they don't have the actual constitutional authority to be able to require it. Uh, 
and I and maybe I'll do another show some t- at some point about the 1934 NFA because I did one really early on on my channel before I had I, hell I never thought I'd have anybody follow me, but I'll do another one. And what you end up with is you have the government using the interstate commerce clause and taxing power to regulate firearms. And they admitted in the hearing that, no, we don't have constitutional authority to ban anything or control anything. That's why we're using the interstate commerce clause and the taxing power. So we can get around the Constitution. They admitted that in the hearings for the 34 NFA. <laughs> Fluffy says, I demand Glock vending machine. Yes. yes. Anywhere and everywhere. Because let's face it, the, the guns themselves, we already know, aren't the issue. Ooh. If someone is a serious violent criminal, they will be seriously violent no matter where you put them and no matter what tools they have in their hands. Here's an idea. How about a vending machine that has different size Glock magazines in it? Oh, yeah. That would be a nice one, too. Bart, what's up, my brother? Free gun zone should exist. Yes, they should. Oh, you're not caring today. You forgot your gun at the house. Um, go to that machine right there. Go ahead, type in it. it. You'll have your gun on you. Just you know, maybe turn it in another vending machine before you get home. Or hey, it's yours. Uh, that'll save the police from having to respond to something. They can just go out there, draw a chalk outline, and call it a day. Mm. Yeah. Let's let's save everybody the paperwork. <clears throat> Yeah, one car they should be. I mean, let's face it. All of the all of the NFA about machine guns and stuff like that hasn't stopped a single criminal from committing a single goddamn crime. Nope. It hasn't. Look at Glock switches right now. There are plenty of auto sears out there right now. Uh, yeah, if you wanted to be yeah, if you wanted one, you could get one. Yeah. So- Hell, hell, I, I hate to mention this, but I'm going to anyways because it's me. Um, if you wanted to, you could even 3D print one. Yes, you could. Yeah. Well, look um, at old buddy who I'm, turned not, into not that that I'd be that kind of person <clears throat> to do that kind of thing, but I mean, you know, there are unscrupulous people out there that have done that kind of thing. Well, even, look at uh, old buddy who printed like, all the 3D print. auto sears and made like twenty five thousand dollars at a gun buyback. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. No questions asked. He just had to bring them in and be like, "Hey, this is an auto sear. This is an auto sear. This is an auto sear," and was wow. just making bank off of them. Oh, like drop yeah. in auto sears. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Me, I remember. Like, dude, them, they take them. I saw one of those come up for sale. Money. I saw one come up for sale. Gosh, it it's had to been like ten or fifteen years ago, yeah, and at the time, while. I think. Yeah, at the time, I think it was only like about seven grand. I'm like, oh, if that piece of shit breaks, man, uh, I can't, I can't do it. I wanted to do it. I really didn't have the money to do it. I would now, if I saw one for seven grand, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, for illegally uh, transferable. Yeah. Sure, sure. But yeah, that that'd be. Let's face it. Retirement. There are money. a lot of there are a lot of things you can do to a semi-automatic gun to make that bitch run full auto. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, without a drop in auto sear, without a whole lot of stuff, mm-hmm. you can well, make just... a gun. It may not be necessarily the most reliable thing, but you can make a semi-automatic run full auto. That Hoffman Super Safety looks pretty cool. I've seen it uh, demonstration uh, videos, different guys shooting. Them. Yeah, uh, yeah. No. They have it in steel. That looks yeah. kind of cool. Yeah, but did it's you hear about the ATF raids for that? I did. I did. It did they, wait, they rated. Tw- they rated twin bros, um, who were making them. Yeah, who were making them? They were making them out of metal. They were actually machining them. Yes. Um, and see, I, I heard the printed can only last so long. <clears throat> yeah, it only about a hundred rounds. I yeah. I don't doubt them going after Hoffman for the actual design. I hope they don't. Don't get me wrong. No I hope they don't. That's just hope innovation. They leave Hoffman the fuck alone. But knowing our government at this time, do I see them going after Hoffman at some point? Yes, I do. It sucks. 
And if I was him, I would have a stack of lawyers ready to go. I I, I would ask to borrow John Crump's lawyers. Yeah. Because that's just the that's just as dirty as our government plays. Yeah. Yeah. But but as far as devices go, you know, as far as, you know, um, you know, increasing, uh, you know, rapid fire. That's one of the slicker ones I've seen recently. Oh, it was the a only one that, very cool design. It really was. Yeah. It really I've is. got it's a couple of Tech Franklin, but uh, they, they didn't seem to run like that did. No, and it's you know much like the FRTs and stuff like that. Yeah, I just got five here. Much you as, pretty much have to, <laughs> yeah, you have to get good, consistent ammo and be able to follow the cadence uh, to make it run good. Pretty and see, much. binaries, binaries have been on ATF's radar for a long time. Those I if, know, if things I keep know. going the way they're going. It, binaries are just they're next on the list. It, it, it's getting to the uh, point where I'm not buying any drop in triggers whatsoever because the ATF can just turn around and say, "Oh, by the way, that's illegal now." Yeah. At the drop of a pin. Sam, what's up, brother? Well, it's just get, it's really getting to the point where they're going to try doing that with semi-automatics. Period. Yeah. Um, this you gun is too close what, to what's a meant for that gun, weapon of period. war, and yeah, because that's why they were going after rate of fire. In the in the last few arguments we've listened to from the Ninth Circuit, Seventh Circuit, it's always they've always gone through the rate of fire. Where well, this gun will fire so many rounds a minute. Okay, well, throw Jerry Mitchell axe ass in jail because Jesus Christ yeah. cut his trigger. He can do that with a shotgun. <laughs> yeah, he can do that with a double barrel. So, double barrel. I mean, the man five. shot a world record with revolvers. Yeah, he he is a unit so, man. He, he he is a bad unit. He is a dude. He's an alien, and his daughter was raised in a lab. I swear to God. Lena, I've seen, she's her, as I've seen badass as he is. Yeah, I think I saw her shoot shotguns when they were introducing his new JM uh, Mossberg model, his new semi-automatic. Which those, by the way, look fucking sweet as shit. I don't know how they are on durability. They are they are at a lower price point for something like that. I was kind of liking those those lower price Berettas, those A three hundreds or whatever those were, those patrols. Let's watch something real fast. Is it this one or this one? It's this one, I think. And for those of you who have never been introduced to Jerry Mitchell, um, you're fixing to get introduced. Because mm -hmm. when these assholes talk about rate of fire, let me share this tab. Screen share. Do, 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 do. Here we go. When you when you hear these courts and they and these lawyers want to talk about rate of fire, semi automatics, rate of fire, we're fixing to watch this. attempt by shooter Jerry Michalek to challenge Ed McGivern's speed shooting record set back in 1932. Nice. Using a weapon performance center built eight shot revolver, Michalek attempted to both outshoot. Now, I'm not a huge revolver fan, but Neither damn I. that thing's sexy. Look Look how fast he is with that. Two new world records. All right, you want to you want to film this one? Yes, sir. Go, Jerry! And uh, in 108 degree heat, <clears throat> I believe it was, down in Mississippi in front of a very uh, supportive audience, uh, he did it. Uh, he forgot. 108 degree heat in Mississippi with 4,000% humidity. Yeah. Oh, speak of the devil. Wife. I mean, he did uh, eight... Yeah. Hey, babe. Baby. Okay, here we go. Now I got you. Hmm. Did you hear me? I can hear you now. Okay. How's your live going? It's going. It's going. You want to do chicken curry tonight? Are you buying? I will kick some money in your account. Um, might as well buy rice. We'll always use rice. Because I have trauma. Yeah, tell me about it. Yeah, tell her I said hi. 
Everybody's saying hi. Night Strike's on here. Joe's on here. They all say hi. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'll send you some buckage. Let me log into my account. I'll send you some buckage. And yeah, chicken curry sounds freaking outstanding. Oh, you I'm guys don't hungry. know my wife cooks some killer ass chicken curry. Um, oh, I am. I know it ooh, is. Our taxes must have hit. Oh, hey. Ooh, I'm big timing. <laughs> you know what? I I filed mine. I had to go out to the mailbox. I wonder if I, I got a I got a hard check coming to me. Good yeah, luck. I got I got way more buckage than I had a little bit ago. So. Yeah. yeah, I think I'm only getting like three or four hundred, but it's something. Um, it's almost yeah, another gun. For money. I'll throw it at you. It's almost another gun. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I think you go, I, I ain't you buying go cheap. Shit. You could you could get another AR. I really? have been kind of like, a, like an A220 in <laughs> for a while. Get AR. I've gotten rid of most of my M4 style ARs, and all I've got left is like one M4 style, one one Bushmaster 16 inch style fixed stock, and then one uh, PSA 20 inch. Yeah, I unloaded a couple get it not it. long ago, and I could get rid of a few others. When 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 the receivers were so cheap, I was getting them for like thirty five well, bucks. Or Andersons, and I just kept building I, ARs I, here and there. Yeah, like I used to get ones. Andersons they're, they're, for real cheap, but since PSA have dropped their prices on their receivers, just, and I can go into the enough, PSA store and pick it up for no transfer fee, they got, they got okay, yeah. chicken and stuff at, at that point, there's just no reason not to. Um, buy. Mm, in the PSA off. store located where? Is that in Pennsylvania? Uh, no, that's in South Carolina. South Carolina, that's right. That's right. Uh, the, Rifle, yes. But I don't know. I, I I don't have. I don't need all the ones I have. I've tried to get. I gave my dad one, but my mom doesn't want one. I'd rather just get rid of a couple and and kind of kind of kind of thin out the herd so I can maybe fit everything into two safes. I used to have more three. ARs than I had of anything else. Now I think I have more Chinese rifles than anything else. Well, I got shotguns. I do have a couple Chinese rifles. Yeah. And that's that's one I might I, I might I'm I don't know I probably want to I haven't I, ever shot my Polytech AK I got a blonde like a double folder spiker. I've got a Polytech but I don't have a Polytech AK I've got a Polytech uh, M14. Mm-hmm. No, oh, did you get it in Canada? No, no, actually, no. I bought it. I bought it from some dude in Colorado who who had it when you know they started importing. When it was, when it was still like that's an early one then probably. Yeah, and. All I had to do on it, all I had to do is I had to take the flash, the fla this fake flash hider they had on off, and put a real one on with 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 the bayonet lug, mm -hmm. and it just slapped right on. And all the other yeah, parts, the ex except for the fire control group, all the other parts and, and the and the uh, the bolt. All it's, the all that's the, one, the first the AK I ever got. Parts. The first AK I ever got was that that polytech because i happened upon it and I, I went to go buy another gun i bought his uh i bought his m14 it was a i think it was a auto ordinance but um he had the polytech as well so i came back and got it and i didn't even know ak's but i knew that that was a money ak and it was in really good shape and hadn't been fired it just I have to go with the logo what's that since i said it i have to go with the logo china strike China strike. China strike. Okay, I see I've, that. I've got I've got tons of China. Okay, that's back. Kind of, sort of. How I love Chinese. Chinese. They're cool. Chicken curry for dinner. Nice. I realized, Dude, man, that's I had... one of the only things my wife <clears throat> could cook really good when we got together. She has come a very long way. I got. I've had chicken curry made by a freaking uh, guy, beef, up, beef woman. Her uh, her chicken curry. I don't. I don't think I'd. Well, I know I'd never had chicken curry before. Me, and got, me and her got together. That and um, it's uh, oh god, 
There's another chicken dish she does like that that's just freaking outstanding. All right. Oh, shit. There it goes. Oh, the link. Again, anybody who wants to bounce in, bounce in. This is just a shoot the shit session. Yeah. And on that note, since you guys are talking about chicken curry, I'm getting hungry, so I'm going to bounce out. Oh. I don't know if I'm going to get chicken curry. Oh, I might just get some sweet and sour and be done with it. You know? Ooh, some sweet and sour chicken sounds good, too. Yeah. General mm -hmm. Tiles chicken. Mm. General Tiles. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. Oh, so I, I'm gonna go get some food. You guys take it easy. Have a good one. I'll see you guys. Right, I'll see you guys on the next one. All, All right, right. take it easy, my brother. Later. Take it, man. Later. <clears throat> Ooh. Damn, Joe. What's up? You act like you've been drinking curry. beer or something. Oh, we got a couple people back. I just Sam, I started and there's Mig I drank my What's first up, one. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Shit, we just hanging yeah, out, well, what you brother. Doing, we just chilling. I am so, putting together some late dinner. What you guys up to? Late dinner? Dinner ain't well, late till it's like 10 o'clock at night, man. Well, early, mid, you know. Dinner. I'll just say I'm making dinner. Yeah. Wife gets home, we'll make dinner. How's everyone doing today? Oh man, I'm good. Sam, it's going good, good, man. How about you? Oh, another day, another day. I was just surviving. Now it is. <laughs> Jess, you guys you're more okay? than welcome to jump in too, brother. Loud and clear. We're audio safe. is good. Okay, just making sure I have some audio issues sometimes. Oh, yeah. No, man. no, we got you, man. That's awesome. I, but yeah, Chess. Yes, today's just a hangout, brother. We we ain't going over anything serious. Today's just hanging out. So no boil blood yet. Hell yeah, man! I told Sam about you a few weeks ago, and I don't know, Sam. Is this your first time over here, brother? No, no Sam jumped on the second. chat the other day. Okay. <clears throat> hell yeah, yeah, Sam man. jumped on the chat, and then, hell, I've been in his been in his chat a couple times. Hell yeah. We all hang. Yeah, after yeah, after you showed me the channel, I was, oh okay. I've been a while at the point you showed him. I I I'd watched a little bit of his stuff since then, but I hadn't really, you know, gotten to it yet. But what I did see, I liked, so I you know, outlaw endorsed just so that was good enough for me, you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, hey, man. I'll take the I'll take the endorsement from outlaw any day any day of the week. Hey, fellow hey, Alabamian, man, you got to look out for one another. You know what I'm saying? Then bam, yeah. man. Oh yeah, Emma. And of course, Joe. He's over there from Bacon Stream. So I know Joe. Oh yeah, man. <clears throat> Bacon was probably what? <clears throat> Bacon was probably the second stream I was ever on. Oh really? Where I actually Bacon. clicked the link and got on the stream. The end time um, report. Yeah, and I can't, <laughs> dude. I cannot remember how the hell I found Bacon. I found him on Dark's channel. He was in there in the comments. We started going back and forth in the comments and shit. And he that freaking uh, us. Yeah, that may have been. Well, we, went on, we went on Discord and did VC and freaking we started talking. I thought he was hilarious. <laughs> so, so I was like, yeah, I got to get to know this guy, man. He seems cool as hell. Then he ended up being cool as hell, right? Yeah, well, he used to when I wasn't, wasn't having to be up at 8 or six o'clock in the morning every morning me you bacon p38 um and a couple other guys morning star we'd get on the voice chat after dark stuff and talk late night hell yeah man hey well, you, you guys, do either of you guys get on uh discord or gilded um i'm on discord and off discord good. i don't keep up with it um yeah. it was it was different because my my schedule changes so much sometimes it was different when i had because i'm a night owl it kills me yeah. getting up at like six o'clock in the morning. Um, yeah. Going to sleep at six o'clock in the morning five. is great. <laughs> yeah. I was gonna say, man, if you ever like, if any of you guys are ever like, just don't want to stream, you're like, nah, fuck it, I don't want to do none of this. We always get on Discord calls and shoot the shit. Which Discord are you on? Are you got your own or what? Um, I'm on uh, Chaos for Yous. Let's see. <clears throat> oh, Chaos! Oh, yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, chaos. I don't think I'm on. 
I don't think I'm on Chaos's Discord. I gotta get I gotta get in there with him. Or if you got a link, post it. Yeah, hell yeah. I'll post the link. Hey, you know, maybe maybe you guys uh, can answer this question. So I'm looking for some kind of like people search site, you know, them like truth finders and shit. I'm working to substantiate or debunk some claims that have been made uh, that somebody is a pedophile and under investigation by the federal government for being a pedophile. Is FOIA my only avenue to that kind of thing, or can can I subscribe to a background check site or something like these employees? Dude, I couldn't, I couldn't tell you offhand because if they're just under investigation, I don't know. Yeah, they're, they're not um, convicted. Maybe on the registry if they are already found. Uh, yeah, right. I mean, like active investigations, uh, that's kind of that'd be hard unless and you I, know a cop. And he probably, and, and I don't know whether you could FOIA in a in active investigation. Probably not. Uh, that's not until what I was, yeah, yeah, they'll delay it. That's, over, that's tough. Now, um, oh God, what's that dude's name? Or just hire um, a <laughs> hire a, pri a private investigator if you need to substantiate your claims. Yeah, just that's to corroborate, like you found it really to your MPI kind of shit. Defense. Oh, okay. Um, well, I don't know, man. Is, yeah. is, is, worth it? is one child worth it? Come on, man. Reach in their pockets. Dig was, uh, um, for the children. Do it for the children. Try try this real quick, Coop. I don't know if this is the right one. I can't seem to find the link to his. Tell me if it comes up. The House of Chaos. I mean, I have quite a bit of information. Name, previous address, employment, place of employment, all that. May not have gave him the right one. Then what did you put it in the main or did you put it in the side? I put it in the private chat. Okay. I'll open it up so you make sure. Right. But yeah, I follow chaos. I'll be I'll lurk in his chats a lot. Hell yeah, man. Because it's just yeah, it's just cool, man, to lost. sit around, watch some guys game it and damn not have to deal with a bunch of horse shit. Chaos, yeah, that's what I was fixing to say. Chaos is more like the, the laid back, relaxed gaming streams. Like if you want to take a break from all this political, you know, red pill stuff. Yeah, it just it just opens up a, where it says no text channels. Oh shit! Um, no, no, and it, anyway, next time I see him on, hell, I'll hit him up. Okay. All right. Yeah. I don't know but, where the link. But is. But there's well, a dude. If you were talking about trying to find somebody. Um, I mean, nah, skip trace I think tools it's this different, dude. different than shit like that. I mean, you could get skip trace tools, but that really wouldn't feed into anything about, you know, investigations for like, you know. This looks like him, but this dude operates all over the country. Um, let me copy this. Like, or you could, uh, could you could email uh. You could email Alex Rosen and have him investigate it. Who? That well, this this dude Alex on Rosen is link in the chat. He does a lot of stuff catching predators like that, and he's out. Of, I think he's out of South Texas, but he operates all over. Um, this guy, this well, guy I does too. Tyrant Bird. Oh, yeah, that, that's who I was fixing to say, Sam. It, it's the big, it's the 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 big uh, bald guy that that busts him. He'll get yeah. like. Uh, like the uh, what's called drag time story time kid things and dress as a gay that guy with like a pride t-shirt on and then he'll start Jeez. telling them that, you know, <laughs> oh yeah but then he's like you know looking for freaking uh people abusing kids it's pretty good and this he's pretty big because right? like, he's a monster he's a huge guy i think he i think he was a football player I don't, yeah. I don't know. I saw this is a dude I found him, or I saw him on Stephen Crowder's stuff the other day. I don't catch. Crowder he goes on Crowder. Time. He goes on Alex Jones. He goes on yeah. uh, Owen Shoyer's show. Uh, I'm yeah. sure he goes everywhere. He had a lot of guest spots. A lot of them. you just do a YouTube search with. Uh, well, I got. A, his, I posted his main channel in the chat. Oh, Alex Rose. Right, I'll have to grab that. Be his, well, it's that it's be kind of important channel. to me to figure this out because. Um, this specific person has been pulling some bullshit. And, uh, 
Yeah. Well, this guy, this guy does awesome. end the bull. That's good. Maybe yeah. I'll see what he says. I, sure. he yeah, yeah look, at his, look at his work and see what you think. I mean, he seems like, you know, if you told him something like that, he, he wouldn't not follow the lead. He'd at least look into it. Right. And try, yeah. well, try I mean, to take the issue it. is that I'm um, not providing a, anything other than unsubstantiated rumors at the moment because that's all I have to that, go on. Yeah. And the evidence that, that are the source of this rumors has been removed from the public at large. No one had an opportunity to save it. And they yeah. came in the form of a few community tab posts. So I'm basically mm. just looking around for any source that might be able to mm. give me a little bit of assistance here. Well, that, that dude, that seems like he's going after a lot of them. So and he, he operates around the country. So if you can put it in front of him, if there's anything he can trace, I'm pretty sure he'll he'll trace it. I think they kind of network too. I think he's got guys working in different states, and they fly up. They they do it, you know. They're filming it. There's at least two or three people there when they're going up on these people. Where's one of them? Yeah, Tyrant Bird. Yeah, his, his videos are pretty good. I mean, it's not Chris Hansen style, but it's it's pretty crazy. I mean, there's been a couple people try to commit yeah. suicide there giving them the business like he basically just shames them and then you know unless he can get them arrested if it's a place he can't get them arrested he just kind of shames them and asks them why they do it and tells them to quit yeah dude, he was know, on he talked talk about a little on platters the other day and in certain <laughs> states um as much evidence as he gathers gathers on people if it's not the police that gather that evidence then there's nothing the cops can do so he can hand yeah. them a folder of yeah. all the shit these people right. are doing, and the cops will be like, well, we didn't gather the evidence. We can't do it. However, well, he can give them enough leads where if the cops really want to look into it, they've got yeah. enough information yeah. to yeah. we'll find- continue that investigation. Well, yeah. <laughs> my main goal is just to, I mean, I don't know if the cops are going to do anything or not. <laughs> <clears throat> my main goal is <clears throat> to just expose the truth. I just want to put if this is if these if these claims are true, I want to crack this shit wide open. I'm going to post it everywhere. Um, yeah, if it's whether true, he yeah. gets prosecuted or not, you know, it doesn't matter. But if it turns out to be that these 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 claims are true, this motherfucker's done. I hate pedos, dude. Oh, yeah. I cannot fucking stand baby touchers. I don't think anybody with a normal function brain thing does. Uh, Chess, those are all right. plasma cuts, brother. So I got that diamond saw blade today. Part of the I ones I got laying around, but yeah, that's all plasma cuts. You got what, Sam? I got that diamond saw blade for ceramic today. Ooh, oh, and there, I just dropped it. I don't know if it's gonna fit my saw. I gotta test out the the size or oh, not. Oh, dude, that's cool. It looks thing. like it will. I'll show I'll show a couple real quick because I got them laying right next to me. Let me you do metal work too. Out. So this that's the this is oh the that's way. fucking cool. That's Bro. awesome. Hold on, I know I the Mandalorian <laughs> motto. This is this is the uh, I don't have boating accidents cut. <laughs> <laughs> that's what do you use to do so, that? That's a CNC? plasma table. Plasma yeah, CNC plasma. Well, so uh, anybody yeah. talking about, you know, I lost all my guns in a boating accident. I have the plasma cut that says I don't have boating accidents. Um, I ain't losing none of my shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's so perfect. Next time I hear someone say that stupid shit, I'm going to tell them that. Well, I don't have boating accidents. That's your loss. Here's, here's one of the ones I still got to get with uh, what's her name and send it to her. But here's the free CRS cut. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, awesome. I don't necessarily agree with you know CRS's whole thing. I think he's kind of a poser, but he needs to be let out of jail. They, he has no business being locked up like that. People can like CRS, not like CRS. I don't care. But the biggest thing is, is he didn't break a single fucking law, so he no, should be yeah, in prison. Yeah, you know, that's that, correct. That whole <clears throat> indictment, that whole court case. I saw the note on the fridge. Honestly, man, to tell you the truth, I kind of feel bad for him. 
To be all, to I be all I, I, about I, I, it. I'm a little overboard with the stuff. I was kind of cringing on it a little bit. I don't think he's a bad guy. He deserves jail, but I thought well, who it was is a little this now? No. CRS uh, Firearms. Um, I, I fluffy, like some depending of the other on, stuff yeah, depending which when I get my shop back and everything's running, but yeah, I could cut the outline of a rifle um, and backlight it. Yeah, that wouldn't be bad at all. Oh, you could, yeah, LEDs. You could do it really uh, easy. If you yeah. want an update on the CRS thing, catch me on the Discord later. I'll explain it to you. Okay. All right. Yeah, the, the whole CRS hours. thing, the, the whole auto key card stuff, um, when, when the ATF, their technology branch can't even get the product to work like they say it was advertised to work. Yeah. I and mean, all they can get a gun do gun to do is hammer follow. Fuck them. Yep. Um plain and simple. It's because it's those, those fucking cards it was, were a, not it was like, like, like those little cards weren't feasible it links. Was, it was yeah. a novelty, it was a novelty item. Is what it was. It was a they, novelty they were, for for you to pretend I, to be able to swing your dick around with your friends. That's what it was. Yeah, they, I forget, did it have a bottle opener built into it or not? I forget. Yeah. I think, yeah, some I think it had a bottle opener built into it. I forget. I don't know. But yeah. they were all out of spec. They were all made out of the wrong material. <laughs> um, it was the, just the, the sheet to, metal was you know, too thin. Yeah, it was simply to show a middle finger to the ATF, and you should be able to do that at any point in time. You yeah. Know? It's it's the government. You should yeah. be able to tell the government to fuck those off. Those cards would fall. Oh, no. Those cards would fall under exactly. the same category of a free expression as a "fuck the police" T-shirt. Yes. Well, well Sam, that's dude, what they. That's what it. really they were. Well, man, you talked about it before, and then well, I streamed the other night and was talking about it. You know, the government shouldn't be able yeah. to tell you what you can and can't own in the first place. That ain't none of their business. Nope. That's right, look, at yeah. this, look at it this way. I can, I, and I've done it on stream before. I can literally find all the specs on a real um, lightning link within minutes. All I got to do is a simple Google search. All that information's there. And it, yeah. would it be hard to reproduce? No, it wouldn't be hard to reproduce at all. No. Um, set of micrometers, um, the right thickness material. And you could Dude, make one. A drop Easy. in a drop in auto sear wouldn't be hard to reproduce. Uh, I, have it's a, I have a folder yeah. full of printouts of shit like that somewhere. I physically have things like that on hand somewhere. A whole big ass I, folder buried in a trunk somewhere. I've had quite a few. Accompanied with blueprints and all kinds of different schematics for shit like that. Oh, That's so free had, information. Yeah. It's not hard. Yeah. Yeah, I used to love going to libraries as a kid. Pretty neat. You know, if I want if I want a damn military tank, that ain't the government's business. No, and you can get one. You just have to pay them their damn ransom fees. Yeah, uh, a shit ton of money. Well, our founders yeah. had fucking artillery. Mortars. They had. Yes. They, they had like anti fucking anti like ship mortars and shit. That's anti enemy armor artillery, equivalent yeah. of the time. And we can't even get a fucking a, a little measly ass five five six or two two three. And that's because you know the general fucking population so goddamn ignorant of this shit. They think an AR fifteen is a high powered rifle. It's not. It's this isn't uh, the one necessarily the one I was looking for, but look at this. Well, so yeah. I can go online within just a minute and I can Google and I can show you dropping auto sears like this, which that's printed, but you could make it out of metal. All the dimensions are there. Dropping Glock switches. I got cash. And all the information is there. That is, a, that is an actual AK auto sear. And not to mention the fact I can order the actual sears from companies with no FFL required um, and yeah. get them delivered right to my house. Hey, man, so I this, got Cura files for shit like that bullshit. for my 3D printer. Yeah. Well, you know, it's like the other day I seen this video where this guy was messing around with one of them bazookas. It's like it, it's <clears> throw away <throat> after you shoot it once. The law. So, so the bazooka. Fluffy, case, um, 
let me when when I get the shop back together and I've got my table back up and running and everything, um, let me do the design for it and I'll send you the design, then we'll talk about price. Um, we'll do basically the size, how I put everything together and all that, and then we'll talk about price. But yeah, that's definitely doable. Oh yeah. Um I oh god, I wish hold on, I might have something. I might be able to kick it over here. And um this one wasn't backlit, but this was for the original arc. Um, I know I've got this damn picture on my phone. We're getting snow up here. You guys what? getting snow again? Yeah, we're getting snow again up here. <laughs> oh, man. Who is it? Johnny Three Ball was talking about it. He was supposed to get like 18 inches um, in the next day or so. Jesus. We're just getting sprinkled God, with it man. right now. I think it's turning back to water, but shit. I could deal with some snow, but this late in the year, getting like 12 to 18 inches, damn. Well, a spring. Well, I'm going to be like, late planting, planting this year, man. I'm already going to be late planting. I wanted to have a garden. Yeah, it's like, why are we getting snow in the spring anywhere in the country, you know? Hey, man, it's global warming, baby. Didn't you know that? Climate oh, change, yeah. baby. Yeah. Okay, why don't you buy an electric car and make it all go away, please? Yeah. I agree oh, with man. outlaws. Uh, I agree with <laughs> outlaws theory there, man. Whatever they're spraying in the skies is fucking up the weather patterns. This Those weather ain't, this weather ain't natural weather. Well, they can induce they can induce certain things. That's been known for a while. Yeah, H A A R P. So, I believe is what it's called. Yeah. Right? H A A R P. Correct. They have right. had the ability to manipulate the weather for decades. Cloud dude, seeding. Dude, they got a they got a battleship yeah. mounted array that that freaking caused an earthquake in freaking Turkey <clears> with <throat> a big old freaking vagina cloud up in the sky before it happened, like an ominous freaking demon above the freaking city. Hey, you why remember that? Be a shit? vagina cloud. <laughs> it looked like a vagina, dude. It looked like a freaking. It was weird. You don't remember this shit. It happened about a year ago. Hmm. You don't remember. Yeah, you got this. me on that one. Hell, there's only it's so much stupid shit Tur I can keep up with. Tur Turkey earthquake cloud formation. Search that and look. It's a weird clay colored cloud. And the battleship. It was a U.S. battleship. Ran through there right before. I swear to you. I mean, it couldn't have got scrubbed already. It was it was eerie as hell. Three to and four. And that's been no four to, Dude, three they, to four. They use, they're using weather as a weapon. <clears throat> three to four yeah, hurricanes are, a, a season. That ain't natural, man. That ain't natural. Isn't that the hurricanes during the year, man, it just kind of depends on – the earth goes through cycles, man. Sometimes you have a lot. Sometimes you don't have any. Sometimes we, we they had one hard, hit. Sometimes they don't. We <clears throat> had one hit about uh, 80 – or 60 miles away from where I am, Somersville, today wow. and yesterday. Well, yesterday. <clears throat> Crazy. Now, I, I know, know people know this. exactly what I'm talking about when I say April 27, 2011. Uh, you're gonna have to refresh me a little bit, not to mention the my brain. The tornadoes that trying. outbreaked across the entire state, nearly. Oh yeah, the ones that ran all the way up through here and ran up into damn oh. Georgia and shit. I got hit by that one. Up in we Mark, got sideswiped by it. Hurricane Sandy hit my buddy's house in Pennsylvania and took off some of his roof and his windows. It, it, it knocked our power out one for about two two weeks. It may have been the one year before that sideswiped us. Um, matter of fact, it knocked down a tree that took down all the soffit boxes and fucked my roof up on the end of my house. Um, That's what they like to do. Grab the corner true, and but... start peeling it up. There were a couple. I saw some well, damaged pictures today from Fayette County, West Virginia. They were pretty bad. Had roofs, roofs pulled off. In my area, we get hurricanes by the lake at a higher frequency than we should. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if this went through. Like, I'll show this. When I was a kid, it was stuff. like once every two years. Now it's like three or four times a fucking year 
we get yeah. small hurricanes or cyclones by the lake ripping porches oh, the off the houses knocking cars over pulling boats out to water that kind of thing i was gonna say you, are the houses like masonry or what chess no, i have to look like, into what they're doing right there <clears throat> houses with upraised back decks and shit like they're nothing like major it's more like some an uproar in the local news when it happens but still man it's not natural is what i'm saying it, it's not Here. it's not normal let me, let me show this um because this is I'm gonna one go way i could a tool i'll be right back gentlemen this is one way i could do that cut um let me see if i can zoom in so what I did was I cut the the outline of the arc with all the detail in it, and I raised off the background, I think about an inch and a half. Um, I think PLA, come out PLA is the original one that put me up to doing this cut. Um, and it turned out, it's hard to tell on here the way that thing stood off, but it turned out pretty damn good. Yeah, that's awesome. But I could do it kind of the reverse way too, with kind of a solid background oh, okay. and do the outcut of the foot. rifle in front of it, and then that's your back the box. It. almost like a shadow box. I wish I had. There were a couple of the pictures I had of that thing that were better than that one, but I can't find them. But that's that's the one I have of that one, dude. That's awesome. <clears throat> and uh, that that one turned out pretty damn slick. And it, it was funny because I'm pretty sure it was PLA that hit me up, but he hit me up with another name. And it took forever to, when I did the cut, to get it to the right person. Mm -hmm. um, I think his name was like Sloppy Shoes something when he hit me up in the email. And yeah. it was we had to track that shit all the way back down. And it, I can't remember who it was. The dude it was supposed to go to, I finally got in touch with him, was like, hey, this other cat put me up to doing this plasma cut for you. Um, so it's yeah. coming to you. And I threw him the other name. I was like, sloppy shoes, whoever, you know, told me he needed it. So this is yours. <laughs> and then we, we ran for a little bit and everybody figured it out. I was like, oh, yeah, that's cool. It's like, yeah, well. Hell yeah, man. <clears throat> hey Coop, I think that, I'm was, gonna that was a plasma cut of the original art design. So I'm, you're basically. I think I'm gonna roll, man. I'm gonna go uh, ride my mini bike up and go get my mail. I might have got my refund check. Who knows? Hey, hit it, brother. We'll catch you in a little while. All right, buddy. See you later. See you Thank guys. You, Take it easy. So you basically can make the whole gun 3D printed, pretty much, right? Um. Well, that's that's just a 2D plasma cut. Yeah, um, I'm not as good with like 3D printing where I could do a whole lot of that. I, there's some I can do and some I can't. Um, yeah. But that one's just basically taking the image of the gun, transferring it over into a file where I can do the outline of everything, all the detail, yeah. mm -hmm. and then bringing it over to a, a DXF file and then having the CNC plasma cut everything. That's awesome. Um, so... <laughs> Fuck me. One of the plasma cuts I sent out a while back, um, I did it in like a freaking almost a tri stack. Had a background, the uh, first section of it stood off, and then the third section of it stood off. Mm -hmm. It looked good. The fucking dude sent me a picture of it, and the, I don't know what the post office did to it, but they beat it to death. And when he got it, all the pieces were just laid over. Oh, damn. I was sick to my fucking stomach for wow. weeks over that. Um, and I thought a couple other ways I could have done it later that, that would have worked out better and been a little bit more durable. Mm -hmm. But, dude, you talk about being just sick. That's the only cut I've sent out like that that just fucking they destroyed. It damn. was... Oh man, it uh, how that's st it still fucking makes me sick to my stomach that that thing got fucked up like it did. Yeah, <clears throat> but yeah, man, I got hit. No backing, <clears throat> staying off. Yeah, uh, Fluffy, we can do that. Um, hold on.
I'll show you a small version. Oh, shit. If I can step over all my shit. I've turned my office inside out trying to do shit lately, so I've still got stuff stacked everywhere. But yeah, you're talking about, say, something like this on a larger scale with a standoff on it to where you could backlight it. That's awesome. This is, this is a... Well, I'll do this on a, another solo screen. So this is my protection. It's just a little freaking triangle folder AK with a damn silencer on it. That's awesome. Watch, that should have given me a ban from YouTube. You're showing a gun. Pow, pow. Um, yeah, even though you can see through it. <laughs> yeah, even though you can see absolutely through it. It's a single dimension. They're freaking, freaking tarred, man. Douchebags at damn. But yeah, man, I got hit with that tornado uh, back in 2011. And um, four big old trees got my house. Dude, 2011, let's see, me and the wife moved out here in 16. And it was in 17, we got sideswiped by a tornado. And it took one of the big oak trees at the end of the house and just took it out about probably 14 foot up, took the whole top of the tree and just laid it over on the house. Golly. Um, matter of fact, I was making a damn beer run <laughs> down to the store. Golly. And my wife called me and said, something hit the house. I was like, oh, well, shit, okay, I'll be back in a minute. Pull up in the yard and you can see the whole top of the tree just laid over on the side of the house. Oh, man. And that The stump on that tree, I can't even get my arms around it. Um. <clears throat> That's why it, I'm kind of lucky it broke it off about 14 foot up versus laying the whole tree over. If it yeah. laid the whole tree over, it would have taken out half of my damn house. Oh, God. And that, well, that, that became its own goat rope. Well, it was kind of odd the way that it happened with mine. I mean, we, we caught the outer edge of the tornado where the neighborhood was at we lived in. and Just all four trees in the yard just laid over like at one point on top of the house. Yep. It crushed the floor in, crushed the roof down in. All right. Uh, but the house was built back in the, the late 40s, early 50s, where it still had the, the true two by six, you know, wood up in the roof, rafters. That was a stop. What, what are we talking about? Hold on. Yeah, what's, what's my buddy, Chess, and, uh, Brutal talking about it. Here. Get on the chest. Hey, BV, BV, you jackass. There's a link in the chat, man. If you want to jump in, jump in. Been in a bit tomato. I divorced. Oh, shit. Little Bob, I worked as a civilian on a C5 flight. That's actually a good oh, name. Oh, yeah, you are on some big birds. NATO. That's a good name. <laughs> Dude, there yeah, was those tornadoes that come through Alabama was probably, what, three years ago? Oh, <laughs> Um, um, that's the one that just messed Opelika all up. And oh, yeah. Three. I remember that. It barely missed my boss because he lives right there next to Opelika. It barely missed him. Tore Opelika to pieces. Yep. Maybe it's been about three that. years ago now. Um, as a matter of fact, one of the signs from a store in Opelika got mm. dropped in Harris County, Georgia. God. It took it Holy all the shit. way across the fucking river. Um, wow. Um, there was, it was just a big, badass, you know, tornado or string of storms that hit us, and that tornado spawned and it wrecked stuff. I mean, just tore it to pieces. Do, do you have a rough idea of how far Tuscaloosa is from Birmingham? Yeah. About like an hour, hour and a half, something like that. Yeah. Cause like if, was, I'm, if I left here, and went to Birmingham. I could cut through Tuscaloosa to go up there. We were we were uh, after that tornado hit us. We were seeing mail out in the, out in people's yards from all the way up in Tuscaloosa, where the tornado carried Tuscaloosa mail all the way up to where we were living. Oh, that's yeah. nuts! Oh, there Dude, was so many. How are those storms? Is crazy. Shot yeah. that stuff far, huh? Oh, people had stories for days, man, seeing animals and oh. shit. This there was crazy. a um, 
right off oh, of God, 280 the animals. between right off of 280 it's in between it's more closer to phoenix city i think it's actually considered in phoenix city in between there and opelika they actually had hey warsaw's checking it but they actually had cameras on it was a little bar um, mm -hmm. I think it used to be like a gas station, or now it's a gas station, but whatever. They had the webcams up in the bar when that storm hit or when that tornado came through. Yeah. And you just see everything start to fucking disappear in that tent. Um, rip the roof completely off. Walls ripped completely down. It was crazy. That's to madness. Oh, man. Yep. And, uh, Sam, I'll tell you, that was crazy. Out to the building, too. Sam, the craziest thing I saw in that tornado were, were people's yards used to be, where the houses and all the cars and all that, trees were gone, you know, debris laying yeah. everywhere. There was there was beans and other plants and crops growing up in people's yards where it wasn't supposed to be, where seeds had been ripped out of gardens and shit like that yeah. and just replanted yeah. in other people's yards. It was crazy. Yeah. I was seeing, I was I was seeing nuts, like... Man. I was seeing like great northern beans growing up in people's yards where there wasn't even no garden and like green beans and shit. Like I'm like, what the fuck? Dude, my boss, when those when those storms well, came that... through, so they, they hit Opelika and kind of ran right through Beauregard. Yeah. Um and where he's at, his family's been there for decades and decades. And he was talking about, man, I had leaves blowing around in my yard that I know those trees don't exist for miles around my property. Oh. And he's got all these yeah. different leaves dropping into his yard because he was right on the outside yeah. band of that storm. So everything he was picking up, it was just dropping right there on him when it went mm. through. It was, oh, yeah. man, it was nuts. Well, that's actually a normal uh, post-hurricane, post-tsunami type storm situation. How do you think plants got spread in the first place? Well, yeah, they, I mean, they get spread by birds and, and other animals, but they do get oh, spread yeah. a lot by storms, too, because they'll pick them yeah, up and run wider distances. miles and miles. I need to find sure. these pictures and show y'all, man, what my uh, what my house and all that looked like after we got out. You know what's hey, hilarious? Wait, Warsaw, what's up, brother? I got to fucking... disappear for just a second. Who else? Hold on. We got someone else sneaking in? Luminous. <laughs> what's up, BB? What's going on? I didn't doing? see you down there, man. Am I echoing bad? I know who that is. How's the echo? Shit. Nah, you're good, brother. You're good. Right. Give me just a sec, guys. I uh, I got to hit the head and grab another beer. All right, bro. Mm -hmm. How's it going, man? Take a piss then. Fuck. <laughs> Need help? Shit, I ain't available. <laughs> I found this is going to be like typical dad shit but i found whole boneless ribeye for 665 a pound and you're damn right i bought one i'm thinking oh, about getting okay. two more <laughs> fucking oh. 665 a pound guy that's oh, like two dollars and fifty cents cheaper than it is here <laughs> usually i gotta buy it like a four pack at a time and they're not very thick it's about what, 12 <laughs> 12 a pound generally, so I'm saving half on it. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Well, this summer, uh, at some point, well, probably in the near future, I'm going to get that smoker of mine all finished up. I got to find something to cover it with. Dude, I want to build a smoke go... house. Oven just a went off. House? It's time to stick that fucker in there. You want to see it before it goes down? Yeah. Yeah, I want to build a smoke house, like a literal outhouse style smoke house. I don't know if I, I do to, to finish this in one sitting, but I'm going to try it. Go. Dude, BB, six something a pound oh. for boneless rib <laughs> Who did you blow? I don't know, guys. Know. Look at that, man. Mm. Oh, man, that, that looks, looks tasty. Don't show me right that. I'm going to die. That's a good cut right there. Yeah, I want to build like an actual smokehouse. See, I forgot, Coop, I forgot to tell you, I'm in the cabinet business. Yeah. I work with woodworking all the time. I've been meaning to build me a smokehouse when I get a chance. Me Dude, I, man, I've looked into it and looked into it, and where we're at down here towards Phoenix City, um, everything I've looked into said our humidity is so bad that doing like an actual smokehouse, yeah, um, where you'd actually hang meats for months and months and months, they say yeah. don't. You do have it. to control everything. Yeah, yeah. it's it's got to be so controlled because. 
in other parts of the country where the humidity is not too bad, you basically build a fire, pipe the smoke into your smokehouse, and yeah. you know maybe build it into the side of a hill, and everything's going to stay really consistent. Um, I don't. Hey, you know, maybe a smoker ain't the best option for me then because it's really it's outlaw. It's super moist. No, that's yeah, not no. an invitation. The, the only con with smokers is the grease you got to clean up. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. So yeah. Yeah. I don't know if building a, a smokehouse out of the, like that treated lumber at Lowe's or Home Depot would work. Probably not a good idea. I, outside I don't think tree. I'd build anything out of treated. Um, yeah. Not for something like that. Now, yeah. I mean, to be honest with you, if you're in the right conditions and build the smokehouse right, yeah. that smoke is going to basically treat everything that it touches anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's it's for like yeah. the outside walls, it'd be okay, but you'd have to have a complete barrier between the treated and the inner. You yeah. don't. Yeah. You don't want to deal with any of that shit. Just go straight yeah, up. Okay. Here. Well, you know, I was thinking about just uh, digging into the side of a hill, lining the the hole with logs, putting tarps around mm -hmm. it, and then lining the inside with plaster. I don't know if tarps are a good idea, but get like tie back. Yeah. Yeah, Tyvek might be a, a, a solution to some of that. But I yeah. feel like tarps would just trap the fucking water in there. Yeah, I could. Yeah, yeah maybe. I, I could. I got, it I got to get back to do a bunch more you research into Tyvek it. Because I know down in this area, homesteads used to have smoke houses on them all the time. Deuce flute. Where they'd salt meats and hang meats and, and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. So, oh, that is true, Joe. I could frame it up and then just hang a sheet like aluminum siding on it that's a good yeah. idea too yeah yeah still or put that rib i actually rib could do that side of it um the big sure. the biggest thing's going to be controlling the humidity yeah, yeah. Uh, if, you, if you get the humidity and you can control the humidity down to so that's why you'd want like a double wall again. situation so you could yeah. help control the humidity level even better yeah the better you're insulated versus the outside the better off mm -hmm. time you'll have trying to control every other uh, yeah. situation inside. I've, I've often thought heat, about building a greenhouse around my that. entire house. <laughs> it's not a bad idea. I would love to have that. That really house sounds like awesome. That. You should look I, it up. They're fucking kick ass, dude. I got Living too many tropics like forever. Who cared? I got Don't damn open birds. The door. I got damn birds. Possums, raccoons, squirrels, everything back here where I'm at. Birds be pelting oh, the fuck yeah. out of that thing around here. <laughs> if any guys saw my video the other day with me and the possum on the porch, that possum comes and visits <laughs> at least every other night these days. So yeah, yeah. weasels, rabbits, possum, skunks, things porch. like that. Man, that motherfucker will come up on the back porch here or the back deck. And he'll just look up at me, man. Dude, I, I never would have believed it. When when me and my wife had, I think we topped out at like almost thirty chickens. The biggest killer of chickens that we had was yeah. fucking possums. God damn! Yeah, yeah. if it's an easy meal. I went out, went out one time, and uh, my chickens were raising hell. I went out there the coop, and there's a possum out there with a mouthful of fucking feathers. He looks like he's got a feather boa around his neck. He's got so many damn feathers. Uh, he, he didn't make it. Um, <laughs> Yeah, he didn't, he didn't play that some bitch over. Oh, I there was one on the porch. Funny. That little ten and a half inch AR pistol I have. Yeah, I caught that joker on the porch, and he wanted to get a little sporty, so I went ahead and put one in his head. Um, <laughs> don't do that without <laughs> earplugs. My ears were ringing uh, for about fifteen minutes after that. I was fixing to say, yeah, uh, yeah, I was fixing to say I'd lay that motherfucker sideways because he. He, he coming at me sideways on this back deck. And I'm like, motherfucker, do something. And anybody who and thinks, shit. yeah, anybody who thinks 223 is this super powerful, high velocity, whatever the hell round can kiss my ass. I shot that Joker with one of these little hornities right here. Oh, yeah. And it did exit his head. That's now, it blew everything in his head apart, but it didn't yeah. exit his head. Yeah, those are trumped up 22s. Is that have. the ones that the it hits the bone and like kind of rattles around? 
these these jokers right here um It'll blow your lung out 22s do right <laughs> yeah it's a really fast it maybe it will put a hole in your lung God, now, if, if I shot, um, but you might be able to survive it too. Depends. Not yeah, really. yeah, you could. If I, if I had shot him with a full the metal jacket, that you'll survive something like that it. as opposed to a three oh eight or a seven six two is much higher. Fuck that. Oh well, yeah. Here she is, the three oh eight right here. Thirty cal hurt. Yes, sir. So, um, yeah, we got possums. Um, uh, worry about wild boars. You know what I really want is uh, I boars. want another Mosin Nagant 9130. I missed that motherfucker. Here's some 30. I want 1911. Oh man, this is this There's is no why I'm thinking do about doing streams where I'm like halfway on Rumble. And see, here's a um, 338 Winchester. Although Ooh, I don't have a gun to shoot it. Nice. That's a nice size. Yeah, I ain't got a gun to shoot it. Yeah, I, got I, I also have a bunch of random ammunition that I can't fire. Speaking of that, anybody need three thirty eight Winchester? Because I've got a couple boxes of it. <clears throat> Holy shit! Really? It is expensive. right. I might. Yeah, I'm looking for a bulk amount of ammunition in which to chamber a custom rifle. Hey, them are some good chips and uts. Yeah. I'm yeah. Good. All I care about is a dill pickle chip because I do not like fried pickles. I will eat fried those. pickles. Fried pickles are always fucking soggy as shit. I can't stand it. You would then you would <laughs> yeah, like yeah, but... uh you would like that golden flake uh dill pickle chip. Oh yeah, golden flakes are freaking they're off the chain, man. <laughs> the golden flakes down here by me in Birmingham that their plant just shut down last year. Did it shut down? Yeah, they had to shut down oh, after God. like what 80, 90 years in the city. I gotta strip the wife. <laughs> Man, them jokers were still driving around in like nineteen seventies bread trucks delivering snacks to grocery stores and stuff down here. They've been in Birmingham for decades. I am going to grind down the clips on her holster no. to where it's not oh, such a pain in the ass to get off of her. And for those of you who don't know, I have to disarm my wife. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've Basically what I call stripping her. I'm taking the gun off of her. But yeah, uh, Coop, Golden Flake down here in Birmingham, they were still delivering snacks to grocery stores and them old uh, antique bread trucks everywhere. Up until a few as, years ago, hell yeah. As far as I know, Golden Flake over there in Columbus is still going. Um, as far as I know, because no. Golden they had another plant for Golden Flake right there in Columbus, Georgia. Um, it wasn't too far away from Loomis where I worked for God knows how long when I was a kid. Yeah. And uh, if anybody true. ever want, wants to work for a really shitty company, um, if Loomis is still around, they're probably just as shitty as they were back then. <laughs> Golden Flake's good as fuck. <laughs> Coop got that added to prenup. Um, no, I wasn't smart enough to get a prenup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't have nothing to have a prenup for. Them, uh, Uts, don't them chips come from uh, Tennessee? Which ones? The Uts, that brand y'all were showing. Maybe. Come out of state. Maybe. Uh, Freaking who's big now? It was Golden Flake was real big down here, and Tom's. Tom's. And there was yeah. one other I can't think of. I think Tom's did more change. like the candy bar stuff. Uh, and then Golden Flake was all the chips. Buffalo Rock was, was the drink. Southern, southern companies. Buffalo Rock was the uh, drinks like Pepsi and. Uh, <laughs> He knew ahead, redheads. Yeah, dude, I, I realized I married a redhead. Trust me. It's what you get when you have a redhead a place. Builder channel. I'm trying to do some different shit. Like, I need to build shit out of old electronics and stuff. Like, I, specifically, I need a rock somewhere. I, BB, do me a favor, and I, I know I'm sub to your channel already um, for the cars and stuff, but post that in the chat, please. Because you should be you should be a mod. Let me make sure. Uh, it's that's was Pennsylvania. Yeah. Okay. Can you, I got can you. Hear me? 
Huh. Going to get that link is going to be a retard. It's probably going to make me uh, basically minimize. So let me get well, rid of this. And um, BV, you're on yeah. the stream with me. I'm a retard. Deal with it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's probably going to drop right? me from the stream. So give me a second. Hey, hit it, man. The link's out there. Hang out for a little bit longer. I'm, I'm, gonna gonna gotta read I'm slow boards. sometimes. Ain't nothing to be ashamed of. I'm slow all the time, too. Buddy. But oh, the, yeah, and the reason I say that, BB, is so my can... son is hooked on cars, and he will love your channel. Oh, real cars? I got a four-year-old. All he does is talk about freaking Mazdas and Fords and Chevys and uh, Maseratis and Rolls Royces and real cars. Mazda was my favorite was car to run as in uh, Need for Speed Underground. What's yeah. that? Subarus. Is it Acura? Uh, I've always There's liked a freaking ones. car the other night he had on a YouTube video. It, had, it was a Subaru something. No, it was a. I've always uh, been a big Nissan was and Datsun fan. It was a something three forty. It was like a Subaru three forty, no. wasn't it? Oh, no. I don't know. But anyway, the kid saw the outline of the car and then told us exactly what it was. It was a such and such three forty, and my was... wife looked it up, and sure as shit. It was that car. It's like, how in the world does my four-year-old know this? <laughs> but he is hooked on cars. He is a Sounds car like you got a little Savant on your hands. Dude, I'm telling Sounds you. Sounds like you got a little Savant on your hands. Oh, brother, I, I grew up liking them too, man. No. I was, I was, back. I was like an eight, seven or eight-year-old kid when I first saw Dukes of Hazzard. And not, and not oh, you and just like Daisy game. Duke. Tell the truth. <laughs> well, yeah. That's funny. It was like just the silhouette, and it wasn't even. I love like, post Andrea's <laughs> OF link in the chat, man. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my avatar, the female avatar, I usually have has a fan club. Apparently, apparently, uh -oh. don't ask me how. I think it's funny. There was... <laughs> no. no, no, they're talking about something else. So I pick on him and I tell him, oh, well, man, make that money. Start pimping Andrea out, bro. Put that hole in the corner. <laughs> I used to think there there wasn't people out there that like cartoons like it's gonna that. It's going to bug me. Oh, I know. It's going to bug me, too, because it was um, too easy. I swear to God, that mo that car was in a movie with them. Um, oh, shit. It was comedy. It was a Toyota. Oh, shit. I'm going to have an aneurysm trying to think about this goddamn car. I can draw the shape of it. Yeah, the shape of it's freaking easy. It's, it's box, cab, trunk. <laughs> Both of us are going to be sitting here all night going, what is that car? And then my son later is going to go, it's a blah, 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 blah. Okay. I could probably show him the same damn YouTube video and he'd do it. I guarantee it. But his matchbox cars, BV, this kid carries him around in a backpack and he's got to put his backpack on like he's throwing on a rucksack in the army. He literally <laughs> sits the backpack down, jumps into it, throws his shoulders into it, and then squats and gets up. It's not a party, right? <laughs> hey, he's hey, he locked my house then because I got him everywhere, dude. I, that's what I do as a oh, hobby. Dude. I put them together and stuff. Oh, he'd have a blast at your place then. I've got NASCAR everywhere. I've got movie cars. I've got HO it's stuff. Me nuts. I'll show yeah, him a I picture of a DeLorean. He'll tell you what a DeLorean is. Oh, oh man. DMC. I always liked DeLoreans. DMC. I always thought that was really awesome. Yeah. He pronounces it yeah. funny. It's a. I can't remember how exactly he pronounces it, but he, it's a DeLorean. It's just a... He adds some extra shit in there. Hell, he's four. <laughs> My, I've got a... I've got a... Was she five years old now? Yeah, she's Bye -bye, five years here. old. Little niece, uh, great niece, and Bye -bye. she's already getting on tablets, typing in everything she wants to watch. And What's the 340 car? I, these kids, man, this generation. Subaru. Of kids not a Subaru. Look up Subaru. Look up Subaru three forty. It's not a Subaru. 
It's not an Isuzu, and it started um, with an S. It's got to be Subaru. It's, it's Nissan 350Z. No, no, no. The it's store made damn, 60 bucks $40, today. I think he's right. No, oh, well. it's not a Subaru. You talking about a Datsun 240? No. It's an older car. It's a red one. Come here. Say hi to everybody. Hi, Why are you here? Everybody. Say hi, perps. Say hi, brother. <laughs> What's up? What's that 340 car? Hi, guys. Hey, I think I'm going to hop out on this one. I'm going to go get this saw running. I'll catch you guys see. on the right, we'll next one. Closest thing I can think of we'll catch you after a while. I like how this is a gun channel, but you have that's to find a 240Z out, but... or a Nissan 350Z. That's the only thing I can think of. Uh, it was, oh, God. I can see the car in my head. It's, it's too boxy to be. Some of those, it's ah, uh, like I said, I can see it, and it was in who was oh, in that fucking movie? I can see it in the freaking movie, and it was an old eighties movie. Oh, dude! So the car was out in the eighties. Watch, my wife will draw the outline of the damn thing. Is that a Hot Wheel? Yeah, I got yeah. I got some That's of them a, too, brother. It's not BV, BV does oh, yeah. custom Hot Wheels. Wheels. With Hot Wheels. Real oh dude, I do room. too. This is a my son, right here. What is that? My son I mean, would have a blast with BV. It's not a brother, brother, I need to show you some of my work too. I do the same thing. Started off with one of these. Yeah. Oh heck yeah. I've been looking for did a little paint work. And uh took the engine out. Changed the paint. Dude, Put some decals on it. Dude. So this is a color flip paint. It's green into purple. What? No. And I took the uh, engine out of it and oh, yeah. block. Oh, BB, what kind of paint are you using on your custom stuff? So this is a spray can, actually. You can load it into an air air gun, of course. But yeah, I, I know what he's using. I can I can pretty much guess what that is because I use the. Uh, There's a few different ones. There's one that I really like. It's a uh, it's a Tamiya color, like purple. Okay, yeah. I but, use the Dupla color. Yeah, I don't have Dupla color around me. I like to get stuff that I can buy in town. No. I uh, put real rider type wheels on this, and then put some brakes on that fucking thing. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Dude, I need to show you some of mine, like. I actually build them from ground up and shit too. Cut them apart, but yeah. stuff on them. I need to show him my stuff. Got the reason I ask is GT three fifty R that I started. This is a you can't it, you can't see the color on this thing on this screen, but this oh, is Northern funny. Lights. This is a Cerakote. So when you look at it one way, it looks really really gray, and if you look at it a little bit a little bit different angle, it looks really really blue. Um, and it's a it's a badass Cerakote. I love this Cerakote. Um, but Coop, uh, I can tell you some of the paints. Like if you go to AutoZone and get the Dupla color, yeah, like automotive paint, basically. Yeah, that's that's some of the stuff you can buy like that. But the change that's color true is true automotive stop. paint too. That's nice. Oh, what is that? Dude? There's a there's a few brands out that I really like. I I like to get stuff that is like really small particle though. Yeah. Because I like metallics and stuff like that. But it's got to be really small to work on these cars. I do too. It's a yeah. Volvo. To me, to me, I didn't think about Volvo. Them. Yeah, that's that is what a good thing. The Volvo three forty. Volvo three forty. Volvo. Yeah. The uh. Yeah. It was a Volvo three forty called out. That's what it was. Yeah, Tamiya is like your more high end paints, like for like oh, yeah, scale right models there. and stuff. We're, we're gonna wait. Yeah. We're gonna wait for dinner, buddy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, sometimes I will use uh, Rust Oleum. <laughs> Why is it not for the solids? Hold on. I'll... Yeah, depends on what color. But Wrong if I do space. like a metallic, I use Dupla color. But okay, y'all Hold on. It just depends on how it lays. There's a lot of that uh, model <laughs> colors that I don't that? use. Yeah, Bobo sometimes what? the dupla color doesn't work because Bobo it'll what? clog up. He there's a. Uh, he won't do it now. There's a gloss black. 
His in the model cams, it just does like not come out of there very Royce. good. So okay, spray it into an air air gun and use it that way. What car are you I need to, I need to invest. Felt super fucking wet. Where are you going to start saving now? I need to invest in some of that because I, I just yeah, might have a can one. of it. Let me show you which one not to buy. Okay. Swedish AMC Pacer. Yeah, but, just about, uh, Martin. Rust-Oleum Coop makes oh, hey. a uh, color shift. Was on point. Uh, Rust-Oleum so Rust makes a nice color shift. Chocolate paint. Chicken or chocolate this one chicken. you want to use in an air gun only. So spray this can into an air gun and you'll be fine. But out of this can straight on small stuff like that, it's too wet and too thin. You'll wait I have Stick been trying to find, um, and and I had a I had a modeler tell me that I needed to go to Sharon Williams oh, to yeah. match the uh, color to the real car. I'm trying to find like a metallic, uh, like a goldish metallic brown. There's a there's a old Firebird that I'm trying to do from Hot Wheels. Oh, that's cheese. Like from the that's 80s, cheese. they had this uh, like. Like root beer brown on gold. Well, they've probably got that on Redline Shop. I need it's a Volvo. More than likely. And then uh, there's a Camaro that I want to spray like a hey, Ryan Fortune. Or, right now. I got that like a haze purple, purple, purple haze. Yeah. But I was told to go to Sharon Williams you and let them mix me up a, a custom yep. rattle can of it. Yeah, that's what I get. They'll, they'll do a custom rattle can? Oh, yeah. That's what they told me. I don't know. I've never had one done. <clears throat> I have to buy a lot. Who knows? Depends on if they've made something similar before or not. I know freaking uh, which part of the, all the crap I got in today that I ordered. So. You know, you can just. You, you can go to like do, Hobby Lobby and get a fucking pump up air sprayer. Yeah. Well, I've got the yeah. got a compressor, so this is well. Ooh, no, I hear right. that, but I mean, small for like, small one. That's what I need. Well, I want to get into like doing the uh, decals and stuff too, because there's a lot of NASCAR channels where they do the diecasts and they do custom paint schemes with the like uh, water slide decals and stuff. I want to get into that. I don't know whether man that stuff right there is really fine. I don't know whether I have the patience. My wife would have the patience for it, but not me. Some of them aren't bad. Some of them suck. Really yeah. fine, like water decal stuff. I need. I've got to show you some of my stuff, man. I I took a I took aluminum bar. You know, if you go to Lowe's or Home Depot, they've yeah. got what's called aluminum flat bar. Yeah. You know, you get it an inch, inch and a half. Well, I've got a scroll saw up here in the shop where I can cut parts and pieces out and put it together. I've got like an old Chevy step van I'm fixing to put together. You should look at my Instagram. Probably either lower it or uh, something like that. And I would love to have some decals for it, like Lent snacks or something. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, water decals. So the easiest way I can to explain water decals is back in the day, like when we got GI Joe tours. Yeah, they weren't actual stickers. You had decals oh, that you had I to you. wet. And yeah, then, I know what you're talking about. I used to do uh, model airplanes. I know exactly. What there you're talking you go. About. Now you got me. Oh, the model airplanes is even so what, even cooler. So what thing. happens when you marry a woman that's like way younger than you? So I had a I know whole shit now. ton of having having a see. having a cabinet shop when you ain't got a whole lot of like. Work time, you got a little downtime. Yeah, you'd be surprised what you could make in a few hours. Hmm. No shit. I had like a, a bunch of scale model airplanes made out of wood. Okay. And my niece, dude, I'm not. Over. I am not over. good at at doing serious woodwork. I can yeah. build about anything, but if you want like fine detail woodwork, like doing a gun stock or something like that. Yeah. I look like fucking Jerry's kid trying to do that shit. Um, that, yeah, that one on the other hand, who snapped her fingers behind me, she loves that kind That's of stuff. I need to find those pictures. Anyway, my niece got a hold of them planes 
And she did what a, a little four year old girl does. Yep. Yeah. Crashed them. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I had landing gear. I had propellers. I had everything put together on that thing. Well, actually, several of them. Nope. Matter of fact, hell, I'll show you. Couldn't withstand the four year old. Hold on. Let me see if I can find pictures of it. If I can, if I can Nothing find. Can kid. Oh, it broke my heart, man. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, BB, I've I've got to I've got to share it, which I did it not too long back. I showed my son your channel. He was digging on it. I gotta get him back into it because right. anything with like the hot wheels and the cars and the custom stuff, man, he eats that stuff. Oh, up. here they are. I've been feeling a lot better lately. I might actually get into it. I don't know. Oh hell yeah. We'll see man. how it goes. I got a few lined up that I could get working on, but here we go. I feel like there's other more important shit in the world. Oh yeah. Uh, these days, brother. Um, yeah, there's a lot of shit going on, but yeah, doing stuff like what you're doing is more than freaking worth it. Because yeah, well, I've it. got some kind of shit situation going on that I can't quite figure out or understand why in the fuck yeah, it's even happening, but. Apparently, there's a lot of people that are either A, fucking full ignorant, or B, maliciously negligent. Uh, I, I would say them. both on that. Yeah. Because. Well, whatever, I fucking win. You can't beat me. You got to kill me. Yeah, that's about Failed it. Failed again. Oh, well. Mm. Now I can there, move. There are people these days, brother. All right. Yeah, there there are people these days that that will fight you tooth and nail to stay asleep. They don't they don't want to see it. They don't want to look at it. People that I fucking They're hire. Just, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then they need to be fucking fired from ever working for anyone yeah. in that capacity again. They can't be trusted. Yeah, if you've got the power to do that, yeah, I would call the herd, um, without a doubt. Now, I'm just deciding on if I um, give a shit or not. I think everybody else deserves it at this point. Just let them fucking do what they do, because I already know. I uh, called I'm it about, from the day that I got hit that I'd be bullshitted all the way through. I think I'm about to that point, too, to where I'm just like, yeah, I'll let yeah. these people find out for themselves, man. Like, I'll, I don't say, even I'll show have you guys a little honestly. bit of little bit of woodwork. That the wife yeah, it hurt. It, <laughs> it still this. hurts. Yeah. Oh yeah. Fuck gonna... you! You can't kill me that easy, you little fuck. Jesus Christ. So okay. Yeah, yeah. This is when this pops up. Oh, that sucks. Oh yeah, but wait till you see. Wait till you see the fix of it. Yeah. So let me zoom in on that just a little bit more. I think I can. If I can find the right freaking. Tab. Don't you hate it when you get a chunk taken out of your butt? <laughs> so yeah, that's that's a pretty good but chunk it's... taken out. Yep. And then, let me see. Is Don't this dox this? your fucking email. Eh, yeah, well, you know. Piece of wood that's going to match. Couldn't previously. I'm all getting close. Old man trying to see shit. So what I was doing, the idea behind it I was. I can get this to open up because she had the freaking part where she fixed it. And you can't tell. Oh, it's not going to freaking do it. you want me to shoot you a picture? Nah, I'm not going to worry about it now. Anyway, she fixed that, and you can barely tell where that crack was knocked out of it. Yeah. She's Heck she yeah, can man. she can do the work like that. Me, that would drive me insane. She, um, you would either that's, have that's to her a, back. You would either have to a cut out a new piece, a whole a whole piece altogether, and re yep. re of. Uh, Form it, form and fit it, or B, something like that. You'd take a little bit of wood filler. I take the. Uh, I'd take the plate off and build up, and then come back down to it and color match. Yeah. yeah. And, she, and she's done a she's done a couple stock repairs that she showed me that have been just amazing. Um, where you had some pretty good wood knocked out of something, and she's been able to fix it. Um, Hell yeah, man. Really She's, it's amazing. They've got all kinds of wood fillers now that matches the, 
colors of the to get try to get the wood try to get a wood oh, species yeah. like that Which, and just get yeah, dust my, my wife did the SDI classes and then I did them um <clears throat> so in one of the classes you got to go in and they basically give you a blank stalk and you got to shape it and checker it and all this stuff mm-hmm. if I lay mine next to hers <laughs> Hers looks like a professional did it, and mine looks like I turned my kids loose with a <laughs> butter knife. You mean um, yours did too because she did it? Because I am not a woodworker. You want no. an AK built? I can build you an AK. Absolutely all day, every day. Same, yeah. I can build it. AR, I can build it. You Essentially, you're like, give me a hammer. Yes. I want a hammer. My wife will use the lathe. <laughs> Um, the lathe, yeah, that there's your money maker right there. That's what I've got to. I, that's what I've got to learn is actual lathe work, because yeah. I would be able to like to turn barrels down, um, and it would save me. It would save me some time. Um, even doing an AK, so AKs yeah. have like four different barrel journals that actually go into the the trunnion itself, and. The first gun that I, the first AK I ever built, and I've told the story before, it was an inner ordnance AK. Mm-hmm. Um, so the front trunnions cast, all this shit, but I got it for really cheap. And I figured if I can't build it, I'm not out any real money. Well, I built it, the damn thing worked, and it ran great. So I decided later, I can't remember which receiver it's built on now, but I decided I'm rebuilding the whole gun. I got a, um, Romanian front trunnion for it, but the the de- deal was is I had to take the barrel journal down like five thousandths of an inch to get it to fit into that new trunnion. Mm-hmm. And my only fix to that was to chalk it up in a piece of equipment and sit there with sanding paper and run it around oh, and God. bring it down to size. So I'm mm-hmm. there for like four hours just. Well, that's how they Which do it in thing? Pakistan. Just charge more money. Be like, hey, oh, it's dude, I, I, could go, I could go to work in the in the freaking cut. Yeah, I could go to work. Up done in four minutes. Good Just Lord. hand me a bunch of parts, and you know we we can have that Kyber pass. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not as good as the Brazilian dudes where they can take bar stock and make a 1911. Well, it's because you ain't sitting there doing it every fucking day. You gave up before you even started. Keep bitching. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Damn. Dude, you will never have to say sorry on my streams. Ugh. Mm. Oh, this, yeah, this was... I mean, it's a video. I have to try to show the picture of it. Um, The heel of that was knocked out. She went in and repaired it. Oh, hell yeah. Heck yeah, man. Yeah, that one, that one you could not tell. That one was outstanding. I wish, I wish you'd have seen it in person because you could not tell. She's yeah, a... Hell yeah. getting good at it. So That's like um, Night Strike was on earlier. He knows Mark Novak. I would love to go hang out with Mark Novak for a couple weeks. Um, if you don't know who Mark Novak is, if you look up the work he's done, he mm-hmm. is. Oh my God! If you need a, a trash firearm repaired, restored. he is amazing. I yeah, he's I... the, he's at the grade that I I would send hey. something that I need done to him. Yes. What do you got? I wish I could remember. I wish I could remember what my brother's uh, Facebook page was, where they, where we used to do all them jobs for people. I could show you guys my work. I got the air cure kind because I want to do that almost like I, if I was rattle canning. We're gonna do that AK pistol. That's actually pretty interesting. I want to do it. I don't think Very I've ever close seen to the way I would do it if I was just rattle canning it. So I got the air too. <laughs> my wife was asking me about the Cerakote that I got. So when I do when I redo my AK pistol, I'm going to do it in kind of a woodland camo. But, with but I didn't want to mess around with having to actually stick it in an oven and all that stuff that goes on with normal Cerakote. So I got the air dry. Which <laughs> the air dry is tougher than. The one you have to bake anyway. Yeah. Is it? What the hell? It is. And it has a way higher heat temperature. Well, shit. That's nice. Don't argue with me. I'll pull up the fucking specs. 
Go right on there. Me, 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 me. me with the statistics. I'd love to see. Yes. I need statistics. <laughs> well, that's why I, um, a lot of guys that I see that have done Cerakote forever will tell you, you know, you can do almost everything on a gun I love that, dude. in your normal H series Cerakote, but when you do the barrels, do it in C series because mm -hmm. the C series has a way higher temperature rating. So I'm just gonna do the whole gun in yeah, the C series. Yeah, shooting a fucking machine cool. gun. Hits the whole higher rating. Woman, eat your goddamn pickles. <laughs> we need to make tannins cool again. <laughs> yes. Well, man. tannins are fucking cool. Oh fuck yeah, big ass cannon. Well, just a little ass cannon. Dude, freaking um, <laughs> uh, Sam was talking yeah, about it earlier. Inch around, so, inch and a half, fuck it. One, one of the documents, and I, right. it's hard for me to get past it. One of the documents that the, the anti-gun people use all the time to mm -hmm. prove that there were so-called um, controls on guns back in the day was the 1786 Mass Act, which was basically a fire control act. The only thing that that act really proves is, is that at the time, people mm -hmm. owned cannons and mortars and grenades and all this other stuff, swivel cannons, all that stuff was owned by private citizens. That's what that act actually proves. Yeah. Um, it was just about how you stored the gunpowder itself. And God knows I've talked about it a billion times. If the government decided you were storing gunpowder wrong, what they did was you had to go in front of a jury. Mm -hmm. If the jury decided you were being so bad that the government could take your property, then they sold it right back to the people, right back at a public auction. So mm -hmm. it was never about a prohibition on citizens owning any kind of arms. It was merely about the storage of gunpowder. Yeah. I ran into that shit in one of the bond, something. Who was it? I can't think. It was one of the California Braves. And Rob Bonta and his crew were using that as proof of gun control and having his, a historical, you know, providence for gun control. And I read that act and I'm like, why don't these lawyers pound on that shit? Because it hmm. wasn't about the, the arms themselves. They said the public was fine to own all these arms. You just couldn't store raw gunpowder in a way that was unsafe. It was a fire well, ordinance. Well, getting getting a majority of this population, which is room temperature IQ, to see what you're trying to say. Is you are highly possible. overrating them, bro. Yeah. They're paid to ignore certain laws that could be beneficial. There's yes. no other fucking way around it because it's been there for hundreds of fucking years and impossible to ignore unless you want to. I was going to say well, there's a lot of it is. to know. I was going to say they're like absolutely wanting ignorance. They're like yep. a cool 72 degrees year round of, of IQ. I'm telling you, you're giving them way too much credit. Possibly, yeah. Tastes like pickles. Probably cut that in half. Delicious pickles are delicious. Tastes like fish. Probably cut it in half. <laughs> Thirty six. All right, guys. I'll tell you what. Though, let me get out of here. We're gonna cook, go cook dinner, get some kids right, bathed and in bed and everything else. Y'all um, take it easy. All right, bro. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get out of here and take it easy. So tell you guys like I always do. You perks be cool. Show you the wife's gun. Keep that thing on you at all this times. Is YouTube. <laughs> yeah, that is a 1911. Hey, they never YouTube. mess with me when it's in the holster. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. So far, know. they haven't canceled a single stream when it's in the holster. You know, they only ever made a rule about it being a controlled area. Well, who in the fuck are they to say that mine's not? I'm here. Well, I, dude, I did that. What do they one, mean? Uh, I don't to argue it on one stream because... This is the exact workbench where I work on firearms. I'm a certified gunsmith, believe it or not. Did you know that I don't need to be one? <laughs> Did you know that I'm yeah. inside of my own fucking property where I pay my fucking taxes, bills, and all that shit? I, I, I built a I lot of guns before I was where a I live because where I live, gunsmith. But yeah, well, you're doing it for a job. 
right? Well, I'm, not right now. I'm still teaching. What as I'm a saying is that people that have like a YouTube fucking channel and that's their job. Why wouldn't their immediate surroundings be safe enough to do whatever their job usually is? Just because yes. there's one fucking Reddit retard who has a desktop doesn't mean that everybody else should be. And I'm and they continually do this shit anyway with yeah. everybody on. And I'm triple job. damn sure they've got their eye on you already for being able to do that. Oh, well here's here's the pissy thing, and I have to get off. I, I got to get off here. But this is your here's job. the pissy this thing. They can find me showing an image of a firearm within a matter of seconds. Why? But YouTube has child porn all over their site, and they say yeah. they can't find that. Yes. Disgusting. Wow. So uh, I'll leave y'all with that one, and I'm going to go cook dinner. Right, y'all brother. tell me what YouTube's supporting. Yeah. I'd say that you should be able to display the work that you do no matter what. <laughs> yes. Just Absolutely. Say. Yeah. Anyway, BB y'all take- Outlaw, y'all take him easy, brother. I love you guys. Fluffy, yes, Barton, um, Burnaby was in the chat. God damn, I can't listen to everybody. Brutal Bob, my brother, take it easy. Warsaw, as always, one car. Yeah, I ain't listening to everybody. You guys are cool as fuck. I love each and every one of you guys. Y'all take them easy. And no, we'll catch you on the next one. I gotta go. <laughs> Bye, no, all right. <laughs> Later, guys. Thanks for the stream. Bye. Hey,